Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to Quizzlemania 47 Cardboard Edition, the showcase of the Amorons, the greatest spectacle in all of sports infotainment. I am Adam Fungen Master Blompier, and I will be leading you through an intensely trivial pursuit as two teams scrabble for points in an attempt to prove who has the monopoly on wrestling knowledge. <laughs> Survivor Series has come early this year. It is brand warfare as Team No Rolls Bard takes on Team Wrestle Talk to determine channel supremacy once and for all. Don't worry, I will be completely unbiased throughout the entire contest. First, let's meet the bookie's favorite. It's theirs to lose, but oh, how much they'd lose if they did. It's Team R -R -R Wrestle Talk, Tempest, <laughs> Luke, and Andy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello, Hello, boys. Adam. Hello, Adam. Adam, uh, do you mind? May I, may I take the floor? The floor is yours, Luke Owen. Because I, I would imagine you're about to ask, are we confident, right? Sure. Adam, let me introduce to you. What you are looking at here is the most dominant and decorated team to ever grace Quizzlemania. Over there is Andrew Datsun, the first ever Quizzlemania champion. He won two Royal Jambles back to back. That's more than one! The man above me is so good at wrestling knowledge. He probably should just replace you as the host of this show because his original gimmick was just correcting you on your mistakes. Also, multiple time champion. And then DAD may as well be JAM, the only Grand Jam champion in all of Wrestle Talk history. Multi time Quizzlemania champion, Quizzlemania tag team champion, multiple time Jam that champion. Interim Jam That Champion, Jam in the Jar <laughs> Holder, Board Game Club Champion. The only title I've not held is a Royal Jamble winner, but Andy Datsun is here. Did I mention, by the way, that Andy Datsun invented Jam That Jam? Oh, God oh, Luke, do you know what, Luke? You can have one of my Jamble wins, to be honest. And I don't want to brag, Adam, but uh, I just, uh, just got 10 out of 10 on a wrestling quiz. So There you go. Very yeah. nice. Very, and very so nice. So what are we looking at here, Adam? Are we, are we looking at no rolls barred? So, you know, are we, are we going to be talking about how they're going to you know, possibly compete against us? We don't have to compete against them, Adam. They're going to beat themselves. They're being, <laughs> they're being led by Sullivan Bo Brown. The closest he's ever come to Quizzlemania is when I tag team with him. It's the closest he's ever come to winning it. <laughs> Angela's probably the strongest member of their team, but she hates Sock Puppet Sullivan. Vis-a-vis, -vis, she does not like Sullivan Bo Brown. <laughs> and really, when you think about it, can, after all those games of blood on the clock tower, can she trust John Gracie? Speaking of, really, John Gracie, with his knowledge of The Undertaker and Gold Dust, is just going <laughs> to self-combust, and he's going to completely fall apart. Have you ever watched an episode of Board Game Club over on No Rolls Bard? Because you, if you haven't, you should just go and subscribe to No Rolls Bard's YouTube channel and watch episodes of Board Game Club with John Gracie, where he will just fall apart at the seams. They're going to beat themselves, Adam. So let's just skip to the Ultra Chats. Let's just go to the quiz. All the Ultra Chats will just be, hey, subscribe to No Rolls Bard. Have you seen Adam's list videos? If you're not really into board games, he's got a really good list to get you into board games with collection starters. It's got the best board game club content every single monday it's got the best board it's got the best episodes of blood on the clock tower on the internet that's what all the ultra chats will be saying so yeah we can skip to those and then we can make like a tree and get out of here and go to bed early <laughs> biff tanner biff that's the heel heat you're bringing to this show yeah biff. i will say that's the most hot fire promo i've ever seen cut by someone who desperately doesn't want to wake up his kid so you managed to keep the simmering intensity whilst also keeping it at a reasonable inside voice. My, my wife is also trying to sleep as well. I'm not trying to wake her up either. So, uh, you, know you know what, Adam? We could have Luke's kid on our team and we'd still wipe the floor. 
Well, then some no fighting bar. words. Some fighting words. I am going to let you go. But first, as a way of signing off on Team Wrestle Talk, I, it, it does feel weird. That obviously, we have the faces of No Rolls Barred in attendance, but we don't have the face of Wrestle Talk. Or do we? Ollie Davis Ooh. is here. I invited him along to the start of the quiz to give a pep talk to his team. Ollie, the floor is yours. Hey, 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 Luke Tempest and Andy. Adam Blombier has paid for this message on Cameo for you. <laughs> he says to wish you all a good luck because I hear you've got a competition on today to face those no rolls barred dweebs. This is a wrestling quiz. You're all wrestling news attainers. You've got this. You've already listed all the accomplishments. You can do this. And if you don't, Andy Dadson, I will eat your face. Ollie, can I be on the new? <laughs> <laughs> cool. Thanks so much. That's the best uh, 50 quid I've ever spent. Goodbye, Team Wrestle Talk. Good luck, you big bunch of pricks. All right, next up, if they weren't faced before, they sure as hell are now. <laughs> It's team no rolls barred. It's John Gracie, Angela from well, Hobby well, well, Night, well. and Sullivan Bo Brown. Welcome to the show. <laughs> 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at these pros. Uh, John Gracie, let's start this off uh, hot. Uh, can I get a wrestling fact from you, please? Sure. Yeah. Uh, give me a year. I'll give you a wrestling fact. 1997. 1997, uh, that was, unbeknownst to many, the first year that Stone Cold Steve Austin uh, actually broke his elbow. Li really broke it, not just pretend broke it. I mean, you're, up, you're, so, you're, you're actually so close. He actually broke his neck that year. So you're pretty close. Uh, you're pretty yeah, close. Neck, oh, elbow, yeah. come on. Yeah, elbow. Not connected, you know. It's Sometimes fine. when I say elbow, I mean neck. What can I say? <laughs> so it is worth pointing out, of course, that we have uh, Angela, dyed in the wool wrestling fan. We have Sullivan Bo Brown, who, you know, watches the product currently, at the very least. And John Gracie, <laughs> could you please, um, uh, in a shoot, uh, could you please tell us uh, the extent of your wrestling knowledge, please? I'm actually really ashamed of myself today because I told myself I would do zero research for this. Um, but... I couldn't remember. So basically my wrestling knowledge and it is extensive comes from playing two video games in my youth. And I actually couldn't remember the names of both video games. So I did look them up. Right. Um, and it was uh, WCW versus NWO on the N64, which was Fantastic incredible. Game. Uh, and it was the original SmackDown on PlayStation. So uh, that is the sum of my wrestling knowledge. If there are characters in that, I might know who they are. This is going to go great. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> right, well. Wrestling. Uh, Angela, uh, yes. what's your what's your wrestling knowledge? Well, first of all, welcome to Angela. You'll know her from uh, Blood and the Clock Tower, and of course, No Rolls Barred. Give us a subscribe, but more importantly, give a subscribe to Hobby Night, yes. Angela's own board game channel. Uh, how's everything going over on Hobby Night, Angela? It's doing great. We just passed, I think, thirty one thousand subscribers. Was re really exciting. We have a yes. Q and A. Thank you. Um, yeah. My so you wanted to know my wrestling like knowledge, like how, yes, how much please. I know. Um, so I got into wrestling in 2012. My first match was Daniel Bryan getting completely like just crushed and squashed by Sheamus. Then I was kind of out of it for a while. Got to WrestleMania <laughs> 30, jumped back in, watched WWE for a little while, fell completely out of it, stuck with NXT for a bit until the modern stuff because it sucks. Um, and then got into AEW and have been following AEW basically since their inception. So hopefully there'll be some AEW questions on this. <laughs> oh, whoops. Never mind. <laughs> uh, so uh, 10 years in the business. How about that? And Sully, you right? Oh, I'm great. And uh, guess who's here with me, Angela? <laughs> of course he's here. Awesome. Oh, well, you know what? We've, we've, I've, oh. I have come, I have decided that I have forgiven Sock Puppet Sullivan oh. for his transgressions. I knew that he might be here today because you and him are just, you know, bonded and everything. He's almost so attached to you, it seems like. And I figured it would be best to set aside him calling me evil. 
because we probably need to work together today to crush Russell Talk. Hell yeah. 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 I'm in no Adam, way. You didn't, tell me so- you didn't tell me Sock Puppet Sullivan was going to be here. This changes everything. And, oh, and, no. and, 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 and if he betrays me again, I do have my boulder. Oh, God. <laughs> Angela's got oh, a gun. Jesus She's Christ. got a gun. <laughs> Oh, all right. <laughs> Angela Pillman over here. Bloody hell. Uh, lovely to have you guys here. Um, it is now a four on three handicap match. I've got a good feeling about Team NRB's chances. Uh, just before we go, uh, I'm going to get this answer from both of you. Uh, first of all, John Gracie, what is your favorite fast food franchise? Uh, oh, God, you should have let me prepare. Look, I'm panicked, but I will say KFC. Very Ooh, respectable. Very respectable. Uh, Angela from Hobby Night. Um... What is my favorite fast food restaurant? I'm going to be basic bitch, unfortunately, and say Burger King because it's what I eat the most, I guess. So, No, I mean, Angela, you have it your way. <laughs> Thanks, Adam. Hey. Excellent. All right. That is the end of the introductions. NLB, I cannot be rooting for you more. You will probably lose, but I will do everything in my power, which is not a lot considering the quiz is written, to help you across the finish line. (laughs) Good luck, folks. All right. So one last thing before we crack into the quiz. As you know, if you've seen um, Parts Fun Known or if you've seen Quizlemania at all in 2022, you will know that Surfshark have been outrageously cool and have sponsored the entire year of Quizlemania. It's absolutely huge. Uh, if you want to check out this amazing deal we've got with Surfshark, check out the link at the top of the description, uh, just above where you can click to uh, follow all of our guests, including Hobby and I, Angela's channel. Uh, yeah, make sure you, you check out that link to Surfshark. It's, it's a product that I use and I swear by. I use to watch HBO Max uh, because I will not get Now TV because it sucks. It sucks. The fat one. So I watch my succession, please, through uh, Surfshark VPN. But don't just take my word for it. Take my word for it. At Quizlemania, we believe in three things. Wrestlers' nipples, Adam never gets anything wrong as host, and the big business can get their grubby overlord hands off our IP address. And that's why we'd like to thank Surfshark VPN for sponsoring Quizlemania in 2022. Surfshark believes you have the right to privacy when you browse online, freeing you from the burden of targeted ads that keep thinking I'm pregnant for some reason, region-locked content like HBO Max, Hulu, BBC iPlayer, or unsecured connections when you're out and about doing whatever it is you do. We really honestly don't want to know what it is that you do you're all disgusting surfshark has over 3200 servers in more than 60 countries all secured with end-to-end encryption so whether you're ollie davis going on your eighth gap year but still wanting to watch uk tv luke wanting to protect his computer from malicious websites while he hunts for godzilla slash fiction or pete trying to remain hidden from the chinese government because of what he did for legal reasons we can't talk about what pete did surfshark vpn has you covered with its host of technical features take control of your internet usage today and try Surfshark VPN whilst also supporting Quizlemania in 2022 by going to surfshark.deal forward slash jamnatjam and enter promo code jamnatjam for 83% off and three months for free. That's surfshark.deal forward slash jamnatjam. Enter promo code jamnatjam for 83% off and three months for free. So yes, thanks again to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Make sure you do check out that offer code at the top of the description. That is enough of an introduction it's time for board games all right let's welcome team wrestle talk let's welcome team n r b are we ready to go gang yes luke owen do do i have to keep wearing the sunglasses yes luke owen oh man courage of your convictions Ah, it's four on two now I was going to say, is John, John Green to keep the sunglasses? You have to be not wearing the sunglasses. The, <laughs> the wrestling fans are already confused by the presence of board games in their special wrestling. Uh, right, so here's how this is going to work, folks. There are no individual points in this game. Some questions, some rounds may have individual winners and they will be earning points for their team. It is very simply wrestle talk versus no rolls barred. I'm not sure what's on the line. I'm pretty sure Ollie said that he would delete the losing channel. So high stakes, gang. Pretty high stakes. Um, 
It's only fair. <laughs> we are going to start hot, ladies and gentlemen, with The Price is shit. Now, we all know The Price is right. Um, if anyone doesn't, I am going to simply show uh, members of our, uh, our panel here a, a wrestling item that I found on ebay.com. They are going to write down on their pad of paper how much they think that item is worth in dollar dues, please, in dollars. The closest without going over will win five points for their team. So you will all be competing individually, but the winning individual will be bagging their team some point. All right. Are there any questions before we start? Uh, I have I have one. Okay. Uh, if... If all if we lose and Ollie deletes Wrestle Talk, does that mean I can stop doing the NXT review? Yes. No. 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 no I'll find. Yep. It. That's what that means. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're not yeah. having it on No Rolls Barred. You'll, you'll do an NXT not. podcast. Yeah, yeah. I'll just put you back on that again. <laughs> Great. <laughs> oh, the stakes are piping hot. All right. First up, this is a uh, now. Believe it or not, these are all wrestling board games because <laughs> oh no yeah. i've got your yes. chocolate in my peanut butter uh so <laughs> first up i went to ebay.com and found the tna dvd <laughs> board oh. game in its wrapping is, it is it sealed it is sealed. oh yeah it's sealed and gentlemen um oh, okay that changes things. is that the next one for board game club <laughs> it's the next one for board game club <laughs> it is to play. <laughs> It's for two to four players, which is the majority of Impact's viewership. And actually, that's mean. Impact's doing great work right now. Uh, but this is the TNA DVD board game. How much do you think this is worth without going over, remember, Price is Right rules, in dollar -y dues? Write down on your piece of paper. We will be coming to you shortly for your answers. But first, I'm going to read us some Ultra Chat. If you would like to send us in an Ultra Chat, you can do so. Uh, there's a link at the top of the description. I believe it is wrestletalk.com forward slash PFK. Or maybe the mods can correct me on that one if that link is still broken. Uh, anyway, Matty Maitai has donated saying, Dear God, WrestleTalk and NRB in one room. The rest, uh, WrestleTalk boys against a strapped huntress, a foul-mouthed Paddington, and a man that will literally unravel like a ball of yarn being mangled by a legion of alley cats. There will be blood on this <laughs> clock tower. Uh, yes, please subscribe to NRB. It's it's wonderful over there. Uh, Matty Maitai says, Also, Sully really wants revenge for being wrecked in one-minute warning in New Orleans. All serious go get him sully channel the og johnny bollocks the clammy self-loathing food critic with two stomachs and nothing to lose hashtag kill johnny bollocks kill and final question from matty mitas and questions for all oh, i just saw keith lee versus ishii and why is keith not dlc for tekken 7 keith lee versus king book it adam also can we get james a janice dead meat for quizzlemania question for angela how did you get into wrestling and what is your favorite match um my favorite match is probably nakamura versus uh sammy zane at nxt uh dallas like the first one i think it was very, i can't very, very, very um great. that one was definitely one of my favorites because i just i think about that match all the time still um and i love both of those wrestlers uh i got into wrestling um actually through my husband he was into it as a kid we got back into it when like we moved out to california and it's just been a blast since and then i fell in love with all elite like being the elite in AEW. so i just it kind of so at first then from there amazing uh john gracie who won the match between Sami Zayn and shinsuke nakamura mm, mm -hmm. yeah uh. <laughs> Sorry, you're, you're uh, breaking up. You want to have another shot of that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I'd love to. Um, say those names again. Sami Zayn and Shinsuke Nakamura. Oh, it's definitely Shinsuke Nakamura. He's right. 100% so far. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get away! Are you surprised? Give us a Come point. On. Give us a point. All right. That's 10 points to NRB. <laughs> You've answered the secret question. <laughs> I mean, give it's me a hard one next time. Come on. Piece of this. <laughs> secret question. <laughs> uh right okay so we're going to go uh team wrestle talk first please can i uh, just check starting... adam is, is, yeah sorry to interrupt is this the price that is listed on so like a buy it now price yeah not that it is eventually bought for okay got it 
Oh no, none of these are being bid on. <laughs> I can <laughs> guarantee you that. But you don't you know, think I, somebody wants to bid on that amazing board game? I would I would totally bid on that. You know, it's the three of the five people on that board game are now all elite. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yes, oh, I did. Yeah. I did. Yeah. Yeah, I, I noticed that. <laughs> oh no. Uh all right. So uh does everyone have answers on the page, please? Yes. Yes. Fantastic. Uh Luke Owen, we will start with you. Thank you. Sixteen dollars. Sixteen dollars. Uh Andy Datson. Uh forty-four ninety nine. Because it's sealed 99. and it's old. Uh Tempest. Forty nine ninety nine. Forty nine ninety nine. Uh John Gracie, let's start with you. Four ninety nine. Four ninety nine. Uh, Angela, fifty, fifty dollars, <laughs> and Sullivan Brown, twenty, twenty big ones. I can confirm we do have a winner because the TNA DVD board game went for, and I'm just going to type it in here. It went for a whopping. Fifteen dollars and forty-five, which means John Gracie won that question. <laughs> yes. went over, yes. Yes. I went over. Yes. I went over by right, fifty-five right. cents. I went over by fifty-five cents. I forgot the overall. Poor shame, John. wrestle yes. people. You don't know shit John about Gracie. wrestling, do you? Not like me. John Gracie's your fucking everything. ringer, team NRB. Two for two. Yes. I knew Come, it. I knew come it. on, lads. Let's let's pull it together. <laughs> for real, though. Hey, don't no pretend you don't want now this. Has Five points to No Rolls Bard. <laughs> Zero <laughs> points to Team Wrestle Talk. Come on. Oh, Come on, lads. Good. <laughs> right. Right. Quiz over. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we can end it. Go straight to the altar heads. <laughs> da, 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 da. All right, folks. Um, next item on the blocks. This is going exactly as I hoped it would. <laughs> I'm completely impartial. Uh, next up, the Mill Mascaras Pro Wrestling Game. <laughs> Uh, I have no reference point whatsoever. <laughs> I I will this... say the the price in the corner is not the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> Andy, uh, you I cannot moan that. about I not having a reference point when John Grace's reference points are two video games. Yeah, he plays board games. <laughs> the whole quiz. He probably owns this. I, I was going to say also, board like, games. Who, who, oh, so I played this shit. Look at this game. I'm sorry, Andy, did you I have a reference point for the TNA game? game? Yeah, I had a reference point for the TNA game. The last that's game was why, by a that's company that's called Game Developers Company. <laughs> that's the name yeah, of it. Yeah, that's your company. <laughs> <laughs> You're and right, it is. That's the name for a company <laughs> I've ever heard. That's Board Game hello. Industries. <laughs> you never have to question what they do. <laughs> they took literally zero seconds coming up with that name. <laughs> oh, shit. We've got the game, but we need a company name to sell it under. <laughs> Um, it's is perfect. This being sold it on eBay? Us. Uh, what was that, Tempest? <laughs> is this being sold on eBay? Yeah, they're all sold on eBay and it's all in dollary uh, dues. Uh, right, uh, next ultra chat. Um, a, a, a bunch of uh, Chinese characters. I, I don't know how to pronounce them, I'm afraid, but it's, it's a series of Chinese characters. It says, I know this is a forbidden thing to say, but someone had to say it. Well done, Andy. You need to start the jam movement against the old authority since you're the one that put the jam in Quizzlemania. Now put the NRB guys in danger, a Bella danger. I don't know what that uh, Yeah, I don't know who that is either. Oh, I see. Oh. I see. It's oh, one of Ad- Andy's uh, adult uh, entrepreneurs. Uh, Virgil Nomodo says, The one night a year, WrestleTalk and NRB go head-to-head in direct competition. Fun stuff first. I've mentioned I teach at a children's hospital. One of my kids had on going in raw when I went to his room for class on Monday. We bonded over wrestling before instruction. That's wonderful. That's that's so nice. And Virgil Nomodo also says, On to business. Sully, to encourage your best today, I'll donate $1 for every point you score towards the next charity quizzle mania if team oh. nrb wins and you're the highest scorer i'll double the amount uh, to a hundred dollars max have a great quiz all jam that jam support each other what a lovely thing sorry, to do sorry. Uh, i'm a fan uh, no, I'm uh, beat you. That, <laughs> no that's are, fine no individual uh, winners no individual yes. winners We're, it's a team effort guys i hate charity <laughs> all right wow. oh, I, I, andy let's, let's not go that far mate oh sorry sorry i've, I've, never, I've never done this before all right, let's start with time. let's start with Team NRB first, shall we? So let's actually start go the 
completely opposite way. Let's start with Sullivan Bo Brown. I've gone for seven dollars fifty. Seven dollars and fifty cents. Angela from Hobby Night. Six ninety. Nice. Nice. Uh, John Gracie. I've gone for eight ninety nine. Eight ninety nine high rollers all uh, for Team NRB. Uh, starting with Tempest. Fifty nine ninety nine. Fifty nine ninety nine. The it, the other end of the spectrum. Um, Andy Datsun. It feels like a kind of retro maybe game. So twenty eight ninety nine. Twenty eight ninety nine. And Luke Owen. Thirty bucks. Oh God! If it's, if it's 30... but anything below twenty eight, they've won again. <laughs> Well, folks, we did say it would be interesting. All tied up because the winning uh, amount is fifty dollars, oh. which means Luke Owen D A D ties it up for Team well, Wrestle Luke. Talk. Luke. Yeah, yeah, very, very good. Well Thanks, done, Frank. everyone. Uh, yes, the Mill Masquerade's Pro Wrestling Trivia Game will set you back uh, $50, which means it has appreciated in value by 100%. Good for you, <laughs> Mill Masquerade's board game. Uh, next up, number three, there are going to be five questions in this round. How much for the All-Star Wrestling Power Slam VCR game? Oh. oh uh, uh, Adam, qu qu question for the room. No, question, question for the quiz master. Please. Um, how how complete is it? Everything's in the box. Ooh. Everything's wow. there. Yep, everything. The VCR is in the box. Uh, the tokens are the rules. The board. Uh, the box has a bit of wear and tear. It's obviously not wrapped. You can see that. But it is the Power Slam VCR wrestling game. It says, be your favorite wrestlers, including, uh, I believe it says, Nick Bockwinkle as one of the potential <laughs> favorite wrestlers you can be. <laughs> That's a real uh, name. That's who. Nick Bockwinkle. That's uh, sounds like someone that, from Dickens. Tempest, isn't, <laughs> isn't that your? Isn't that your shoot name? <laughs> Tricky Nick yeah. Bock. You better be a gentleman yeah, wrestler in a top hat. Uh, Tempest is Nick's <laughs> son, Jock. Anyway, uh, so we are going to have the some... person that Adam would, that Andy would watch in adult movies. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Bockwinkle. <laughs> hey, baby, Bock my winkle. Oh, hate it. Uh, I hate what week... you're doing to Nick Bockwinkle's legacy. <laughs> 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 this man is a legend, and he will it. be respected. <laughs> we are the wrestling team. The wrestling team must respect is... the wrestling legends. Is, <laughs> is he a well-known wrestler, <laughs> Nick Bockwinkle? Yeah, I mean, yeah, in in the in them olden days, he uh, certainly was cool, okay. as in like the nineteen uh, quite... twenties. <laughs> no, in yeah. the like sixties and seventies. Yeah, he was it's me, Nick Bunk Bunkwinkle, tabs with some tussling, see? Ah, uh, yeah, see. <laughs> all right. Uh, Lakshmi Narasimhan B says, Hi all, with Quizmania 50 approaching, I think uh, of what nostalgic acts could be there. Mr. Davis, Laurie taking the quiz seriously in his triviatorium, Tempest wearing that nose crushing mask, and Mr. Wrestle Talk, oh. aka Lukewarm, aka the old Luke Owen. Hashtag jam that jam. Hashtag get on board. And also Lakshmi Narasimhan B says, as a callback, imagine Sully gets assigned Ric Flair again and that's my line and again fails to guess him. Anyway, we'll catch up tomorrow as I can't watch live. Quick query. Other than Marvel Champions, uh, which available living card game would be a good pick? Uh, I've only played a little bit of it, but Arkham Horror the board, uh, the card game is a very, very good Absolutely. Card game. Absolutely. I really like Arkham Horror. It's so good. <clears throat> Here you go. Yeah. Right. Uh, let's start with Luke Owen this time around. How much for the All-Star Wrestling Power Slam VCR game, including board, VCR, and assorted detritus? Uh, starting with you, it is seventy-five dollars. Gone big. Gone big. He has gone big. Andy Datsun. Uh, I've gone forty-eight ninety-nine as a sort of insurance guess. Hopefully, forty-eight ninety-nine and Tempest. Well, I have greatly overshot that by going one twenty nine ninety nine. No, but can I also that's just a, say that's a good spectrum? I, I think this yeah, came up in a quiz like, Yeah, at some point in the last year, about how my sister likes to hide little minion toy around my around the house and piss me off because I hate the minions. Well, she got me again because it was once again in the stupid mask that hurt my nose. <laughs> 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 this is the second Quizlemania that I've looked over at that mask and gone. <gasps> 
because I found this thing staring at me. <laughs> a great on game. With the quiz. On with the All quiz, right. Please. So we have, a, a, again, a, a little bit of board game strategy there from Team Wrestle Talk, getting a full spectrum in. Very, very good cooperation, Team Wrestle Talk. Uh, Stone Cold John Gracie. I think I've low balls, but I've gone 34.99. 34.99. Angela? It's okay. I've highballed us and gone 250. <laughs> wow. $250. <laughs> Sullivan Brown. Well, John, we don't have the greatest spread because I've gone for $35. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Nice oh, work, board dude. gamers. <laughs> So if it's, if we, it's we're from, doing it. below 48 or above 250, <laughs> they've got it. I love those ones, baby. Oh, those tricky odds. Well, the correct answer was a, frankly, uh, bizarre $99.98, which means WrestleTalk has pulled ahead the halcyon days of No Rolls Bard being in the lead. In our rear view mirror, time. I can't do Don't this worry. on my own. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to step up. I'm trying. Ah, <laughs> uh, dissension already in the NRB camp. I mean, didn't to I, be didn't fair, I say, didn't I say? Oh, <laughs> shut up, Luke! Shut up! This is why we don't have you back. <laughs> <laughs> that and also your child. Uh, child. So I've already had one text message saying I'm being too loud. <laughs> from her <laughs> from the yeah, yeah, from, from, from Isabel yeah yeah <clears throat> they grow up so quickly all right next up this is the takara burning fighting spirit oh, pro wrestling oh, board game featuring appearances from uh, fujinami enoki andre the giant and of course tiger mask that's that so rules. Cool. That That's is so, so cool. cool. That's I actually rad. want this so badly. Yeah. Look at those little chibi. Uh, I know. Meatballs. That's part of why I want to like have it because I'm like I could paint them. <gasps> paint a little chibi, Andre. Delightful yes! stuff. Uh, so either loads or not very much at all. So this is yeah Takara Burning Fighting Spirit Pro Wrestling board game. I've no idea how it plays. You seem to just get an entire deck full of just Andre the Giant cards. <laughs> um, it, it's a it's a fascinating product though. Uh, how much did it go for in dollar dues? The amazing Cliff says first time in a while watching Quizlemania. Looking forward to taking my mind off of things after a difficult month. Not saying what as Adam will do his concerned voice and Quizlemania should be about fun. Let's go team Wrestle Talk. Let's do, go team you. CP, P.S. Luke once wrote a book. That's Love true, you. Luke. You once wrote a book, didn't you? I did. Love you, Cliff. Uh, and yeah, uh, best best of luck with everything, Cliff. Um, I won't do my serious voice, uh, but best of luck with everything. IG Little says two questions for the group. Uh, one, what's everyone's favorite board slash card game? Mine is Cards Against Humanity. And two, can we get an April Fool's Day 2023 board game club where Adam has to play a full Monopoly game without complaining? Get on board. Sully that Sully. I can answer uh, question number two immediately. No. Uh, qu question number one, though, uh, what's everyone's favorite board slash card game? I'm going to do this quick fire just because we do got to get on with the quiz. Uh, Luke, favorite board, uh, board slash card game? Uh, one Night Ultimate Werewolf. Andy? Uh, unmatched. Um, Tempest? Ticket to Ride. John Gracie? Dead of Winter, I think. Ooh. Angela? Mansions of Madness. And Sully Bobs? Cosmic Encounter or Blood in the Clock Tower? Both great choices. All great choices. Uh, right. How much for the Takara Burning Spirit, uh, Burning Fighting Spirit Pro Wrestling board game? Pardon me. We're going to go uh, the opposite way around like we did before. So starting with Sullivan Bo Brown. Gone for $140. 140 big ones. Angela. 120. 120. And John Gracie. 109.99. 109.99. Uh, Tempest. Uh, I've gone for 99.98 and my heart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Andy Datsun. Just in case it's lower than 100, I've gone for one cent. Oh, you little board gamer, That's Andy Datsun. That's the Datsun. spirit. <laughs> <laughs> 150 bucks. 150. Uh, Sullivan, what was your guess? 140. Hundred and four. Oh, 
Oh, Sully. Sully, 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 Sully Bobs. You were so close to bringing it back for uh, for Team <laughs> No Rolls Bard. Can actually confirm that the official price going for on eBay for this game is 2500 <laughs> oh. dollars. Oh, my God. Damn it. I almost nailed it. Okay, I did have some mild <laughs> suspicions that it could be outrageously overpriced because of it just being like out of print and foreign. Damn it, I shot God bigger. I also thought if it was 150 bucks, I might have bought it. I, I don't think I will. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking the same thing, Luke. Yeah. Kids don't need shoes. All right, so the final question in this board game meets wrestling round. How much for... I, I don't know who's selling it and why, but this, and I'll read the exact product description as it is, Monopoly Board Real Estate Game Championship Belt. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> okay, well, we are bought this. Yeah, this, <laughs> this yeah I was like, you, have, you guys have to get this belt. And oh, Adam, oh, we must. This is what you, also, is, is Monopoly spelled wrong in the middle? Yep. Monopoly. <laughs> Monopoly. 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 I love Monopoly. 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 I'm wearing it's it. Thing. It's a type of wood. Is this a double ply? Oh it's a yeah, type of toilet, toilet paper as well. Monopoly. Toilet, yeah. paper. <laughs> toilet paper belt. Uh, <laughs> I, was thinking, I, think, I think I was thinking of toilet paper, not wood. Oh, um, Adam, MP you need to buy this for... For this, for the uh, for don't have to game. Ne no, no, <laughs> you Adam, not, si to not, since the, not since the kid rock belt have we needed to buy a belt more than this. <laughs> Adam, it's what you can win when you lose at that's your board exactly game thing, and then when you play Monopoly and you finally win one, yeah. you can get that belt. Hump, I, I can say. expense this one. Just, just, I, I'm just yeah. wanting to just ask the, the room quickly. Uh, I, I'm slightly confused. What's this about Adam having to play Monopoly? Is this on a, a YouTube channel that people should go and subscribe to? Thanks, yes. Luke. I'll take it from here. Um, if you see, if you head on over to No Rolls Bard and while you're there, if you don't mind subscribing, that would be wizard. Uh, I have a year long bet going. So every week we play a board game club, which is a show where we all get together and play a board game, show you how much fun board games can be. Um, we've been playing some absolutely stellar board games this year, and I made a challenge to myself, and basically to the entire channel, that because it's year 2022, I would win 22 games of board game club uh, in the year, or I would play back-to-back -back five consecutive games of Monopoly my least favorite game and so far it's not going great i think the current standing is three so you know that's fine it's it's almost may but i i'm feeling confident that i don't have to play five games of monopoly by the end of the year i'm feeling you're averaging good. about 12 annually yeah it's it's bad but you know it in in some ways i could win this so who's the real winner <laughs> Who's going to be the real Monoply champion? All right. <laughs> Write down your answers, you sons of bitches. Uh, Van Twinblade says, Minoru Suzuki and Jake something beat the hell out of each other. And Dan Housen looked amazing in his first match back, teaming with Dan the Dad against Gunslinger Matt Fitchett and Spitfire Davey Vega, a.k.a. Grindhouse 99. Dad Housen match is on YouTube solo. Thank you very much, Van Twinblade. And usually offline says, let's go, Angela and John. Welcome to Quizzlemania. Remember, you can't be any worse than Ollie. All right. Fantastic stuff. So we're going to go through the normal order as we do it, um, starting with Luke Owen. How much for the Monopoly Board Real Estate Game Championship belt? I guess forty dollars. Forty dollars? <laughs> Question mark. Luke, that is a, that is a damning insight into your values. <laughs> Jonathan, it's a shit belt. Spelt wrong. <laughs> I agree. I agree with that. <laughs> Chuck yeah, an extra O on I there and you can get to zero. <laughs> That's an uh, uh, 200 when you pass go. Oh, very, oh, very good. good. Uh, very good. Well, Temples. Well Keeping done, Andy. Alive. Well done, Andy. I went for 249.98. 249.98. What? What's going on here? <laughs> Psychopaths. <laughs> Why would you spend that much money on that? Hey, we've seen belts before. They are weirdly yeah. expensive. 
uh, John Gracie. For a lot of money. I mean, you guys <laughs> definitely know more about belts than me. I've gone for nine ninety nine, and that's generous. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, you can't tell what it's made out of. It might be made out of paper. It looks like plastic and felt. I don't know what the grass is behind it. It looks like <laughs> Easter grass. <laughs> mm. uh, Angela. I did what, or 45. 45. Sally Bobs. I'm with John on this one. I did 3.99. <laughs> Straight spread there, guys. The uh, I, I, I know. I mean, what did Luke go for? It looks like it's made out of cheap plastic. It looks like yeah, it looks rubbish. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. If you if you're well, the inventor of monopoly belt and you're watching, but it's not a great. Good belt. news is the good news is Team No Rolls Bard has two ringers. Because it's worth hundred and eighty dollars, oh, which means oh, so close. out going over was Angela from <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. yes. Sully, Sully, mate, do you want to wake the fuck up? Perhaps? Could you? Could you? Could you, Sully? Do we oh, need yeah. to bring the puppet out already? Like, are because I mean, I feel like you're you're dropping the ball here, man. Oh, the puppet can't write though. He hasn't got any hands. Oh, he dear. How he, but how does he hold a cup of tea if he hasn't got any hands? It's, it's sewn Question. into his skin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> then we just All start right. playing a horror game. <laughs> okay, here's... Um, we Are you ready? Oh, oh, actually, the points first. The points first, please. Um, in second place with 10, Team No Rolls Bard. In first place with 15... Team Wrestle Talk still Ooh. all to play for as we move into a new game. Ooh. 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 It's called Promo School. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Sully, you are looking buff. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I've been working out recently. And so that was look at that effective. neck vein. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah, I've been working out just my neck veins, really. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you realize you've made a new round and haven't got a graphic for it half an hour before the show starts. Uh, oh. But no, you look great, Sally. Uh, <laughs> next, get a business in, in this game, uh, everyone's going to have a chance to play uh, once. Um, and it's sort of a bit whose line is it anyway? It, you are essentially, you're not cutting a promo. You are going to be describing a wrestler. But here's the limitation. You have to describe this wrestler using only hello, first of all. Who is that fluffy boy? This is oh, Rufus. Oh, hold on, I have to grab mine. Hold on. <laughs> oh. Quick, everyone, grab your cats. I was really confused for a second. I really thought Adam was explaining this game that you had to start every sentence oh, with no. hello. <laughs> Who's Who is that fluffy boy? This is Jack. <laughs> Hi, is Jack. I just woke him up. He was asleep. Oh, he looks Sorry, warm for you. Anyway. anyway. Back to the rules of the game. It's like every week in board game club. Uh, so I'm going to assign each of you a wrestler. I, when it is your turn, I will DM you this wrestler. You then have to describe this wrestler for your team. But here's the, uh, here's the limitation. Oh. You can only describe this wrestler using one syllable words. Oh. oh. Okay. Now I know why you asked me about that earlier. Yes, it's from a board game based uh, called Poetry for Cavemen, I believe. Poetry, Poetry for Neanderthals, I think. Poetry oh, for yeah. Neanderthals. Uh, so, um, natural limitations also apply. You can't use their name as part of describing them. You know, for example. Yes, exactly. Um, but you have to describe them using only one syllable words. If you utter uh, something that isn't a one syllable word, and just so you know, W is not a one syllable <laughs> word. Um, if you uh, say a word that has more than one syllable, I will remove a point from your team. Oh, oh, oh no. guys! Oh, I, I, I'm just apologizing now because I'm probably not going to be good at this. <laughs> no, Do le Great. the letters count like so? W, w, e. Eh. No, they have or to be words. Mean? They have to be words. That's how those sound. They have. Yeah, you can't oh, just I spell mean. out a bunch of words. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Huh? What? No, they have to be words. Here's the way it's going to go. Um, you're going to have one minute on the clock just for your team. 
Um, your teammates can buzz in um, and try and guess this person precisely once. So let's say, for example, Angela is describing. John can buzz in by saying his own name, John, uh, and make a guess as to who this wrestler is. If John gets it wrong, he's out and can't guess again that question. Sullivan will still be able to guess. If Sullivan guesses and gets it wrong, I will pass it over to the other team. The other team will only have one chance to steal your points. Whoever buzzes in first. If you get it wrong, you've cost your team the chance to get those points. Uh, if you get it right, there's going to be three points on uh, the clock for you. But remember, you can lose points for your team as well. Uh, you have one minute of describing without your other team being able to buzz in. If you go past the one minute and your team still hasn't got it, I will automatically open it up for a steal. A quick reminder of the rules as it's a new round. You, yes, John. On the off chance that I get a rest I haven't heard of, which is statistically very, very unlikely, am I allowed to look up what they look like? Um, what do the what do the group think? I think yeah, you can look you up what yeah, looks yeah, yeah, if you've been yeah. given the wrestler, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah. right. I, I, I kind of want to see what I... happens if you just come up with who you <laughs> think they are. <laughs> <laughs> Like All Bark right, <laughs> Nick Barkwinkle. All right, so uh, a quick <laughs> reminder of the rules because we do have ourselves a new round. You're going to get a wrestler. You have to describe that wrestler, not using their name, obviously, or you know, like rhymes with. You can't do rhymes. Don't don't cheat. Don't be a dick. We know when you're you know stretching the rules. Um, you have a minute to describe that wrestler using only one syllable words. Your teammates can buzz in and try and guess it. If both your teammates guess it wrong, I'll pass over to the other team. If a minute goes by without your team having buzzed in to guess, I will pass it over to the other team. If the other team gets it, they get your three points. If your own team gets it, three points to you. If, however, you use any uh, words which are more than one syllable, I will dock you one point. Yes, Andy? Uh, if it's, for example, The Undertaker, can you do nicknames? So you could, so you could just do Dead Man immediately. And then... Oh, it's How Dead Man. How does that have? Well, dead, think... dead Space Man. He's the Dead Man. Dead well, man yeah, is a two you, syllable but, single yeah, but word. If you, if, but if you said dead man, those are that's two words. <laughs> and I feel like that is pushing. But then the, I could the just rules. say stone cold. cold. Steve. You can't. You, but you can't. No, use the that's name. his name. This is that's nickname. his name. That's his name. But he's yes. also well, stone and cold. <laughs> I I think at that point that is stretching the rules, and I will simply no, just, just say no nicknames. No, so no obvious nicknames, basically. Yeah, um, yeah, it's it's a new game. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, let's start with Team Wrestle Talk. Let's let's get them to show us how it's done. Let's start with Luke Owen, D A D. Uh, Luke, I want you to head on over to your DMs where I have sent you a wrestler. Please confirm when you have seen this wrestler. Sorry, I'm just in a DM from John Gracie. <laughs> just said, Bring me on so I can crush you. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching your intro and you were absolutely rinsing me. I'm like, come on, let me in. Let me at him. <laughs> yes, I have seen it. Excellent. All right. You have one minute on the clock before I pass over to the other team. Remember, you can buzz in with your names to try and guess it. Uh, that will not stop the timer. So be careful when you buzz in. And remember, more than one syllable words, I am taking a point away from Team Wrestle Talk. Starting now. He was in dub dub e. I'm not taking I'm not having that. I'm not having dub dub e. Gotta be words, mate. But I'm not gonna okay. take a point off. I won't take a point that's, off you. That's but fair. I'm that's not fair. having that. They gotta be words. That's fair. That's fair. Um he had bad mask and was bad and, and and was quite shit <laughs> old. one of the most known bad Uh, <laughs> wrestle lad 
All right, that's minus oh, a point. Oh, that's a point. That's a oh, point. That's all. You're right. Yes. Yeah, you're, okay, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> and that is your minute. Um, it is now open to the entire room. Keep going, Luke. John. Um, oh, wait, no, we get one, oh, John. one guess as a John's, team, right? You get one guess to steal as a whole team. Uh, all right, no, no, I'm, I'm going to let the rest of my team go. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. <laughs> Mask was bull. Andy. Andy. Man, mantor, mantor. It man was mantor. Very, oh. very good. I wasn't. I wasn't sure if that was just stretching the rules. I was basically describing it. No, not yeah, describing it. Wrong. Yeah, okay, that's fine. <laughs> he was bad. All right, so uh, that is three points minus one for the wrestle. Uh, so I'm afraid that is only two points, but two points nonetheless. We're going to move right on over without further ado to John Gracie. Here we go. All right, John. Uh, please check your DMs for the following wrestler. Please let me know when you have seen the wrestler. Is this on Twitter? Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Easy. Your one minute starts now. <laughs> Tomb. Oh. Dead. Sullivan. Sullivan. Is it The Undertaker? Yeah, it is. The yeah, it's the Undertaker, baby. <laughs> Even I've heard of that wrestler. I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> well done, team NRB. <laughs> got Thanks for that absolute gimme, Adam. I'll take it. Um, <laughs> Perfect. Could I have said that? I, I, could I have said two wrestler, aren't I? Then... No one's ever heard of. I will say. <laughs> I, I will say. No, so, that that's one. Words. That's one word. Especially when describing this lad, I will also say, do try and string these words into a sentence. But I will. Oh. I will let NRB have that. Once again, I am unbiased to a fault. Uh, we're going to move on to Randall Andal Datsun. Andy, are you ready? Yes, my cat's having a fight. Oh, no. Yes, it's fine. Who? Okay. <laughs> Don't worry about it. They do it always. It's just a guy's come into the house and he wants to fight my cat. Don't worry about it. <laughs> he likes fighting him. So All right. Andy, please uh, tell me when you've seen your wrestler. Uh, right, okay. All right, your one minute on the clock starts now. This man wore a cape in a match with lots of men. He was thrown out by men who do... Slam with choke. Slam with choke. Okay. Tempest. Tempest buzzing in. Like hurricane. It's the it is the hurricane. Very good ah. wrestler I can think of. Yeah, I, was, I was waiting really for you to say day. thrown out by John Cena. Well, John Cena yeah. would be too. Wasn't would he thrown out by he yeah, tried to true. choke slam? Yeah. Uh, I didn't, very, I, very good. Basically, I didn't yeah, want to just well go done. stand back. Because I thought it'd be boring. No, good one. very good, Andy. Very accomplished, Angela. It is your turn. All right. All right. Are you ready? Check your DMs because here is your wrestler. Let me know when you have seen them. I have seen them. Marvelous. Your one minute starts now. He wears pink and black and sunglasses. Oh, shit. Okay, oh, that's minus shit. one. That was, uh, Sullivan. Like three syllables. Sullivan? Is it uh, Bret Hart? It is Bret Hart. Very, very good. Sorry. Yes. Sorry. I wasn't thinking about the glasses. <laughs> All right. So that is three minus a point for sunglasses. Are we going around twice or is it a one, a one each? Oh, uh, I, it has been pointed out in the chat. Many men in the Royal Rumble. That was Ooh. indeed a oh. two-syllable word. So I am removing Great a spot. point from I Team WrestleTalk. Oh, Thank well, you. Thanks, chat. Yes. 
Very good. All right. Uh, uh, next Sweden up. First language. <laughs> Tempest, it is your turn. Check your DMs. And there we go. I can't believe I said many. What an idiot. Sorry, I said wrestle. Mm. At least it wasn't sunglasses. That's three syllables. There's, there's, listen, there's yeah. three of them on screen right now. It was in my brain. I really got my wearing shoes. <laughs> yeah, I'm have, you, have you seen it, uh, please, Tempest? Yep. All right, your one minute starts now. Wants to bang his mom. <laughs> Luke. I'm not lots of people. Luke. Beaver cleavage? It is Thank beaver you. cleavage. Very, very good. What? Did you say what? beaver cleavage? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that... And his whole storyline oh was that oh he just wanted God. to have yeah. sex with his mum. That was the whole story. <laughs> what is this filthy profession that you're all part of? Absolutely <laughs> outrageous. It could, it could have been head beaver cleavage. It could, have, could have been Chaz of Lowdown. <laughs> he wants to Mr. bang Ass? his mom. <laughs> I like that it's Ben immediately yeah. just point at your <laughs> point at the <laughs> temple. That's all I'm doing. Think, think about, about it. Man. This one's think a thinker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, amazing. <laughs> and oh. Sully, Bob's, Bo Brown. We've done our best here. Uh, with a new round we've done our best we've come through it together and that's the important oh, yeah. thing it's not the points you accrue it's the friends you make along the way uh sullivan please confirm when you've seen your wrestler okay yes all right your minute one syllable words only starts now he has friend who old <laughs> too old <laughs> He in tag team. He in A E. Angela. Angela. Darby Allen. No. Is incorrect. I am afraid, no. Angela. You are out, which I means mean, you've only got John me. Gracie, <laughs> resident <laughs> AEW expert, John Gracie in your team. All right, Sully, you got twenty-seven seconds. Pull it back. <laughs> he lived. Go broad, Sully. In Go broad. With trees, he <laughs> swing on vines. <laughs> oh, they're just gonna get more clues. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's not me saying it, obviously. <laughs> but... <laughs> Got guess. Oh. Keep going, Sully. You've got three uh, seconds. Go on. He has long hair. Go on. Give me some more clues. <laughs> All right, it's now open to the room. Andy, uh, John, Andy. Is oh wait. Jungle? Oh, I now I did hear Andy first. It's Jungle Andy. Boy. It is Jungle Boy. Very, very good. Oh Fuck my sake. God! I was going to guess Jungle Bob as a name. Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> One letter off. Oh, oh, oh so I would have, I would have happily allowed that answer as well. Because I was going to. Oh no! He just, he, just, he just remembered it wrong. Oh, Angela, when <laughs> exactly. you went down, I was like, oh shit. But well, I yeah, thought he was right. talking. I thought he was describing Sting. Yeah, cool. Oh, he is old. No, he's old. Old. To be fair. And I was like, oh, well, older man, younger man. All right, cool. I wasn't thinking of yeah. the dinosaur. Can we, can we do that fair. one again? <laughs> I, I thought it was Darby too. Thank you. Thank you, Luke. Yeah, I think that is fair to assume that. That's not your fault. That's mine. Oh, I went down the dinosaur route. It's a classic well, it, mistake. It happens to us all, Sullivan Brown. It happens <laughs> to us all. All right, folks, next round. The scores, the scores, the scores. Uh, in second place with 15 points, Team NRB. In first place with 25, it is Fuck. Team WrestleTalk. Okay. But this, yes, Andrew. I was just, just going to say, I don't feel so bad about that. We're only 10 points down, and most of these have all scored five. So we're actually not doing that bad, guys. We got this. Yeah. We yeah, got not this. Doing we're doing great. <laughs> this is not the way to win, John. It's not the way to win. <laughs> it's, a it's a co op game, Sally. John. It's literally unwinding on your own teammates when we have a clear <laughs> opposition. We have a clear opposition, John. I'll unwind it whoever I want. Thank you, Sally. 
<laughs> oh jesus yeah. uh right uh next round next round next round we are going to be playing the artist collective it's Pictionary. All right. So what I'm going to do is very, very similar to the last round. I am going to DM uh, each member of each team one by one, a wrestler or a wrestling moment. So it's either a wrestler, a tag team, a wrestling moment, something from wrestling. You have 30 seconds to draw that thing. Uh, then after the 30 seconds is up, I will let you reveal to your teammates. Once again, each teammate will be able to have a guess. After that, I will give it to the opposite team. One guess to try and steal three points. Any questions? Is it hands or mouth? It is hands. Okay. All right. That's so we... Effective, Andy. You should know these things. I've been on for a uh, while. We... It never lets me on. Oh, Andy, you Andy. martyr. Okay. So, <laughs> we are... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, we are going to be playing uh, with... Let's let's go the opposite way, shall we? Let's start with Sullivan. Lovely, lovely Sullivan. Please check your DMs for the thing you must draw. Are you going to get John just to draw The Undertaker again? Oh, <laughs> I wouldn't be able to do that, one. genuinely. <laughs> Uh, Sully, have you seen your thing? Yeah. Then you have 30 seconds to draw it while I read some ultra chats, starting now. Uh, usually offline says, let's go, Angela and John. Welcome to Quizomania. Remember, you can't be any worse than Ollie. Mason says, two amazing factions going face to face. NRB versus Wrestle Talk. My dream faction consists of two Olympic wrestlers, Brock's wife and a former king of the ring. They will be called the Gable, Gable, Mabel, Sable, Stable. Jam that jam and get on board and sean Liz 89 says i met mjf at the weekend at for the love of wrestling convention in liverpool went in all clever with an i hate mjf t-shirt on as the guy stop drawing please sullivan okay um as the guy took our picture mjf smacked me in the balls delightful stuff <laughs> um sully bobs are you ready to unveil your masterpiece indeed i am all right so john and angela you have a guess each starting now oh yeah how are you guys feeling not great so bad i'm not gonna lie <laughs> i what do you mean <laughs> <clears throat> it looks like you can two tell men part of the and an it does look like two <laughs> they they're very confused about their boomerangs as well a yeah. light is that a light bulb in the center? <laughs> yeah, I think it's a light bulb. <laughs> they is are multi joined or, or it's the idol from Indiana Jones and the uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Might be that. It could be. It could be. I need to get a guess from either one or both of you, please. Um uh, I don't I don't know. Um they're clearly confused. <laughs> they are confused. <laughs> I'm feeling that. Is it a belt unification? It is yeah, not a okay. belt unification. Angela, uh, John still has a guess. Please, Tempest, oh. then I will pass it over. John. Uh, yeah, that is Stone Cold Steve Austin and, and Triple H uh, tag teaming up for the, for the big WWE title belt. Uh, that is incorrect. I open it what? up to the no other way. team. Uh, Andy, I heard you first. Is it the Red Notice Golden Egg? It is Vince McMahon's oh, yes. Golden Egg. Look, the computer oh. trying to find it. I oh. don't remember You know, upon first <laughs> viewing, I thought it was Where's Butch. I, I, I thought it was, it was a small man. I, in the middle. To cre credit to Sullivan Bo Brown, that is an excellent drawing of people not knowing where Vince McMahon's golden egg is. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, Tempest, are you ready for yours? Uh, yes. Let me get my Twitter back open. All right. So, Temples, when you're ready, uh, let me know when you have seen your thing that you are to be drawing from wrestling. I've seen it. 
you've seen it. So your 30 seconds while I read to Ultra Chats starts now. Uh, Andrus says, good morning, day and evening to all. It is one of those days I actually catch the beginning of a quiz on Mania, not just a day later. Sully, you lovable person. We need a win for you and no rolls barred. All the best and many hugs to you. NRB memes. Hey, Gabe says, uh, so glad I get hey. to catch this Quizomania as it's my hey. day off. Just here to cheer on my NRB team, Angela Sullivan, and the wrestling knowledge god, John. You got this. Still, best of luck, everyone. This matchup is the best uni graduation present ever. Stop drawing Tempest. Oh, uh, I don't know. Congratulations on know. graduating, Gabriel. That's amazing. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Congratulations. Woo. NRB memes, everybody. Uh, Tempest, you have a chance to go. Um, Luke and Andy get a guess each before I, le I let the, your opponents steal. Starting now. Huh. So, Andy, <laughs> do we think that it is a razor blade or a magic carpet? I was thinking it looks like a candy bar. Uh, <laughs> razor blade, broken heart. So something has led to a broken heart. Yeah. So, were there any wrestlers who had a magic carpet ride and it ended up badly? <laughs> uh, quite possibly in early two thousand WWE. Possibly. Um, is it? What is it? <laughs> is it it, it, okay, so you because you said chocolate bar is it? So that was like away, it could Rufus. be could be sexual chocolate. Mark oh. Henry, get, Mark Henry, getting his heart broken. It could be, but I don't feel like that's what you would draw if you were drawing chocolate. You would draw like a, a <laughs> like a like a sort of cross, like a sort of keyboard. Mm, almost. You 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 would do a better drawing. You're right. Yeah, you would. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what could wow, it be? Could it be like subtweeting Tempest there. <laughs> Could it be like a receipt? Uh, something has led to a broken heart. Anyway, Luke, who's been who's had a heart broken in wrestling? Um, the heart Christmas breaks Day. chocolate. Um, uh, I, I, I'll, 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 I'll take a I'll take a guess because I don't think we're going anywhere. Okay, Hi, Luke. Um, Luke, Luke, Luke. Uh, Mark Henry gets his heart broken by China. No. But fantastic guest. Thanks, mate. Usually you're when he mate. says that, it means he means you're nowhere near. So um I don't oh. is that like CM Punk's armband? That is also incorrect. No, that wasn't means... my guess. I was asking whether that was to my guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh let, this is when uh when uh, Kane and Lita's wedding went terribly. Incorrect. Angela, Sully, and John. One of you can buzz in and steal these three points. I mean, that to me looks like a ticket. I, I think it's got to be something so, to do with uh, uh, Heartbreak Kid, surely. It, either that, or it could be Bret Hart versus Owen Hart. Maybe. Is that, it, it could be, it could it could be, be a be, ring. Like, I don't know what this thing in the center is, but it could be, like, a wrestling ring. No one does. But the, the thing is... No, that, that looks like a ticket to me it could in be, the middle. It does look like a ticket. That could be a razor blade, maybe? That could be a razor blade. Okay, and heart, do, oh, that's not a razor blade. I, I, will take, I, will, I will go with the heartbreak, kid. All right, so what is the yeah. official answer from Team NRB? Sullivan, you is say it, it. Is it Razor Ramon beating the heartbreak kid Shawn Michaels? Is it something like that? Tempest, talk us through your drawing. <laughs> well, I think Angela was the closest at one point <sighs> and kind of talked. Is it the is it the Owens? Owen and, it, and Brett? It's Owen Hart throwing in the towel for Brett Hart. I don't know how oh, it's a towel. a towel. It's a towel. <laughs> it's a towel. Oh, oh, towel. Gets towel. I don't know how to draw a towel. <laughs> I mean, Luke, you look <laughs> like a dead towel. <laughs> <laughs> It's like that's a lot of stuff to draw. I was like, how do I draw Bob Backlund? <laughs> <laughs> you gave you it a fucking great stab. Fair, you went, I I that's a lot of stuff to draw. You said, you, you, oh, there's a lot of stuff to draw, so I'm not going to draw any of that. I'm going <laughs> to completely. I'm going to draw a razor blade. I'm going to draw a, <laughs> a razor blade and a heart and a broken oh. heart. 
Yeah. Very good. Oh, thing. Tempest. I genuinely that was <laughs> I thought that was a really good stab. Same. You could have drawn some fringe at the ends to help us out, Tempest. <laughs> I think he did, and I think that's actually wow. the problem. The towel, yeah. the towels don't have fringe. Oh, the thought of, well, they don't really have fringe, do they? Yeah, some, I realized while drawing that it ended up looking like a ticket or something like that. Like, oh, All right. Don't bother. Angela, okay. over to you. Uh, check your DMs for what I want you to draw. Please let me know when you have seen it. I've seen it. All right, you have 30 seconds starting now. Uh, Sullivan, this is the time. Slick Rob says, Sullivan, this is the time you bring it home. You are fighting not just for all gentlemen fops out there, but for no rolls barred. This is where the Sullyhood dream comes true. Don't let me down. Less Than Lucid says, so excited for this matchup. Let's go, Team NRB. Nate S says, hello, everyone. Very excited to see the NRB invasion. Was wondering if you could provide me with your favorite historical wrestling fact and finishing move, specifically. John Gracie to answer. <laughs> Lol. Stop drawing, please, Angela. Uh, your favorite historical wrestling fact, please, John. Um, favorite historical wrestling fact. Uh, give me a year and I'll give you the wrestling fact. Yeah. Uh, 2022. That's not historical. It's this year. I don't know anything about this year. Um, <laughs> all right. 2021. 19... <laughs> Okay. I'll, I'll give you one better. I'll um, give you one better. 2001. 2001. Uh, that was, of course, the year when um, Dwayne The Rock Johnson uh, first exited the ring uh, to the sounds of uh, Hail to the Chief, which became his new wrestling theme song. <laughs> oh, I really, Very I really tailed happened. out there. I panicked. You really fell down a well there. <laughs> I was watching yeah, your faces, so I'm like, can I cold read my way to victory here? <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 said... were one, you were one step away from saying farts. <laughs> oh, farts. Uh, I, I genuinely thought you were about to say it's the first time Dwayne The Rock Johnson exited the company, because that would have been true. Um, all right, Angela, um, your masterpiece, please. Sullivan and John each have a guess. Oh, oh dear. Oh. Oh, okay, who do we dear. think that is, Sully? Um, I'm thinking that 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 I I'm thinking just because it's somebody coming through the bottom of the of the ring, I imagine. Or no, it? it's the, I know who it is. I know. I think I know who it is. I'm I'm actually going to guess. Is it the Shockmaster? Yeah. Yes! Yay! Yay! <laughs> yes! 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 It's Shockmaster save you. <laughs> <laughs> very, very good, that Sully. Made a good drawing. Yeah, it was on the tip of my tongue, drawing. Sully, but you got there first. <laughs> <laughs> you, that was you, really, you, really John. good. Oh, thank you. you. You, John, you need to watch the Shockmaster clip. It's absolutely hilarious. It's one of the it best debuts I've ever seen. <laughs> it's very funny. He's that. wearing uh, a glittery Stormtrooper helmet. He is. He basically the shot. The story of the Shockmaster is he it arrives to be uh, like Sting um, is like and his partner Sting and Bulldog have a partner and he's supposed to be the next big thing. He's called the Shockmaster and then literally a guy with a Game of Thrones style furry cape and literally a stormtrooper's helmet spray painted with glitter. Uh, basically, is supposed to burst through the wall, but instead immediately falls over and his helmet falls off. <laughs> and he has, has to try and scramble around for it and put it back on and try and look menacing. And uh, oh, yes. British Bulldog uh, British Bulldog said, audibly so microphones picked it up, he fell on his fucking ass. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking wonderful. Uh, three points, though. Three points, Team NRB. Yes. Lovely stuff. Um, Andy Datsun, yeah. it's your turn. All right, here we I'm trying go. I to find a of it, but I couldn't. Please check your DMs. Oh, bloody oh. hell. All right. All right. Uh, uh, like, that, like that confidence. Uh, so your 30 seconds starts now. 
Uh, this old nerd says, finally able to watch Quizomania live. I'm sure John's compo composure will last the whole time. Let's go, Sully. Hashtag lovely boys implode. Uh, Brandon Abbas says, love all of you wonderful folks. Can we get NRB up to 85k subscribers on this stream? Anyone watching that isn't subscribed yet, what are you even doing? Oh, that would be nice. Yes, please do feel free to head on over to NRB and subscribe. We make lovely content about lovely board games there. And Le Barrelus says, oh, and three, two, one one stop drawing please andy um Le Liberalus says so happy to see the bolter bitch and the minstreling brother pee pee on quizzle mania <laughs> luke is back after a seven quiz hiatus as well hmm? ollie has a mask and we desperately need a social deduction style round looking at you adam and john get on it and get on booed so many nrb in jokes on this stream love to see it uh <laughs> Andy, your masterpiece, please. Right. Luke and Tempest, you have guesses. <laughs> well, now. Uh, Tempest. Tempest. <laughs> That's uh, Cena hitting Zack Ryder. It is not Cena hitting uh, Zack Ryder. He's got Ryder. spiky hair. He's uh, a and, and I would have thought that. You know, mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah. I'm, 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 I will describe what I'm seeing, Adam. You're on your own here, Luke. Uh, yep, thanks, mate. Uh, I am seeing uh, two uh, men apparently dancing. Uh, one of them is holding a cane. They appear to be on a sailboat. <laughs> <laughs> I'll zoom out for you. <laughs> That's not helping. <laughs> it just makes the sailboat look bigger. And to be fair, what happened was I spent 10 seconds going, uh, uh, how do I start? And then, yeah. <clears throat> Uh, okay, so I, I feel like the, the, the cane is the important part here. Yes. Mm. The, the cane is the important part. Tempest, you can still talk, so you know, help us out, mate. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm blown away that it's not the thing that I said. He's got spiky hair. Come on, how's that not Zack Ryder? I don't know. Who else uses a cane? And one eye, just like Zack Ryder. MVP? Uh... Uh, I mean, I, I, I really don't know. Okay, okay. So, do we think that Andy is using a cane here to indicate that the person he's doing it to is old, i.e., Vince McMahon? Could it possibly be the stunner at the most recent WrestleMania? Your guess is as good as mine. Like, I've got you nothing know, Andy. else. The stunner to Vince at Mania. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> it actually, actually is. It, it, well it done. It is. I could. I didn't know how to draw an old man, so I just added a walking stick. You are absolutely yeah. correct. <laughs> old man. McMahon. I thought for a delicious uh, moment you were talking about the wrestler Kane. I was like, I know him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, John, right. I'll be honest with you, that thought did cross my mind. It, I was like, as soon oh, as I drew it, I was like, I hope they don't think it's Kane. <laughs> John Gracie, are you ready? <laughs> oh, no, absolutely not. <laughs> this is your round to lose, John. You have absolutely Ooh. got this, son. All right. Oh, God. Please check your DMs. Uh. Oh, no. All right. Your 30 seconds on the clock start now. Uh, Medium D says, just drop by to send tons of love to everyone and celebrate that we finally get John Gracie on the show. And as a fan of The Surfer, I can't wait to see Team NRB <laughs> unravel. <laughs> Uh, Scott Merkin says, love the positive mental health messages throughout Wrestle Talk. I have a press release going out next week about some voluntary mental health work I've done. Found support each oh other. Inspirational. So Turn turning 29 tomorrow with love a birthday shout out happy birthday scott merkin stop drawing please john this is the I've worst tried. thing i've ever done <laughs> <laughs> and he's been on an rb hey um john are you ready to show your working absolutely not uh, well let's right. see it ignore this they didn't mean to draw that Okay. All right. <laughs> um, I'm going to move my hand there, but that's that bit is irrelevant. The squiggle. Ah. Oh. oh, that that 
Mm, that doesn't enlighten thing. me. It's the worst thing. Mm. I, I'm trying to figure out what the thing above them is. Yeah. Like, yeah. is it fireworks? Mm. Is it fireworks? Could yeah. this be somebody winning a championship? Is it an idea? Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, <laughs> it kind of looks like a bug when it hits your windshield when you're driving really fast. Yeah. This is, oh my goodness. I don't know. I don't know what this could be. Think of it. Think of um, it like a magic eye. If you just kind of like fade your mind into the image, all will become clear. Hey, it's true. No beauty will just man. will seep through. Um, uh, uh, I'm okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna guess. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna guess. Brothers of Destruction. Holy fucking shit! Are you serious? <gasps> yes. Oh my god! Oh, That's yes. actually what it is. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That is not what okay. I was gonna get. The only thing I could oh, think of was like, it. It was like fire or something. Like they were like <laughs> at the top of the ramp, maybe. But like it had to be a tag team Wait. in the only flame. Did you say that? Did you say what I thought you said? Brother yeah, she's the brothers yeah, yeah. And yeah, you got it for about ten seconds. Yes, I got it. My internet's really bad. <laughs> yes. I was like, wow, he's really underplaying this. I can't believe <laughs> it. I can't fucking believe it. I That's thought the thing. Oh. I thought yes. the thing at the top was an angel because it had like a head and like wings. <laughs> well, I kind of was in that direction too, and I was like, I don't think it ties, it ties to Shawn Michaels. So the only other thing I could think of was like, well, demons, right? So brothers of destruction. <laughs> I could have sworn for sure it was the mega powers exploding. Uh, yeah. Well, I just thought it was. Oh, like that's top. good. I oh, that would make because it was wow. all tiny. I thought they looked like uh, real good friends. I would think it's best of friendship. Just dead good friends. <laughs> dead good friends. And, and I thought, well, John probably doesn't know what it is, so he drew something festively above mm. them. <laughs> I also did give him the under I did give him the Undertaker again. Uh so um well done. Delightful stuff. I'm a huge fan. Uh, next up uh, is going to be ending uh, this round is the one and only Luke Owen D A D. Uh, and please check your DMs for the following. Uh, the only time you ever DM me, Adam. I mean, I, I, I see you most days, Luke Owen. How much more in, in your life would you like me? <laughs> more than you would ever know, Adam. To someone who stole his phone, he just looked like you just keep spamming him with just random wrestling things now and then on a Wednesday. Um... <laughs> Luke Owen, are you ready to draw? Yes. Okay, your, your time starts now. Sean Blanford says, yesterday was my birthday, so Quizzle make it, Mania makes for a, a great late age-redacted birthday gift. I'm excited to see how well the NRB crew will do, and if you don't subscribe to No Rolls Bard and Hobby Night, you don't know what you're missing. Hashtag get on booed. Uh, Misha Sumra says, shouting out the under console nation, having a watch party in the UCP Discord, fully expecting Team NRB to go down like Dave Perry playing Mario 64, but they'll be infinitely more gracious about it. Jam that jam and game that master stop drawing luke owen please lovely stuff all right luke are you ready to unveil your masterpiece tempest and andy you will each have a guess starting now that's got six fingers <laughs> <laughs> and two thumbs Brutal. wait all right okay tempest tempest let's talk through it oh i know exactly i think i know what this is yeah, this is clearly this is... the Princess Bride. This is the six yeah. man. Tempest, man. Te before... <laughs> Tempest, take this seriously. Tempest. <laughs> I think I think this is the Jackass match at WrestleMania 38. Yes, yeah, you're absolutely really right. Of course, uh, it is very, very well done. Wait, was it? Is it uh, Jackass? Is in? Is in Johnny Knoxville and Co. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Johnny, Johnny Knoxville wrestled oh. at WrestleMania this year. It was oh, actually one of the yeah. better matches too. It was the match of the weekend. It might it's exactly match 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 the second greatest WrestleMania match of all time. <laughs> oh. I disagree. Because it's the match. I mean, you are you are right. <laughs> mate. It is it is into the Raven versus Big Bear versus Kane for WrestleMania. You're right. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, amazing stuff all right well done after that third round the scores are as follows in second place with 21 team nrb in first place with 34 team wrestle talk it's not over yet 
It's not looking it's great not, for us. It's not, over. It's, not, it's not over yet, John. All right. The next, amount of dabbing um, going on from the other team. I'm not confident. It's absolutely <laughs> I don't filthy, know why Andy Dabson over here is Oh, yeah. Nice. I, nice. I, I'm, I, I, don't, I don't really know why dabbing has become the wrestle talk pose of choice. It's, no, it just shows we're heels because we are. Isn't it, aren't you supposed to be doing this? pop my finger on the pulse oh, there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. I, I, think, I, think part, I think part of the it's time is we get it wrong. Is, is oh. We're massively out of date and we're not doing it good. Oh, I see. <laughs> All right, gang. So the next round is another game. Of Ooh. course it is. It is Silence in the Library, which is basically wrestling charades. I am going to be bothering you in your DMs one more time. Um, I'm going to be sending you a wrestler or a wrestling thing. I'm going to be asking you then to act out that thing without saying any words. Completely silently. This is specifically for Luke Owen, who is making too much noise. Can we use props, Adam? <laughs> Can you use props? Like, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say charades rules. No. Okay. Um, I'm gonna say that. Um, you, if you want to break it down into words, you can. Uh, otherwise, se similar, you have a minute to perform to your team. If your team can't get it within the minute, I will open it up to the entire room. You can steal points, three points per question. It's exactly the same format. Do we have any questions? No. Marvelous. All right. So we're going to start with John Gracie, please. Ooh, okay. You are first at bat. A quick reminder that, yes, no talking allowed, no props allowed. You can break it down into words if you like, or you can try and do the whole thing. John, please check your DMs now. So it's just charades rules, but with a wrestling thing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, you, like you said, um, in the past, we've seen this round. It's generally been that people just do the whole thing. But you can break it down into words if you wish. All right. So and remember, you've got one minute to perform to your team. If they're guessing correctly, they can't guess again. After a minute, I will open it up to the room. Your minute, John Gracie. Are you ready? All right. Starts now. Five words. Five words. Third word. Kiss. Kiss. Fourth word. Me. Me. Fifth word. Fourth word. Four. Four. Kiss okay. for me. There is a Kiss delay in my. There's a delay in this internet, which is making this really hard. So I'm going to do my best. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Third word is kiss. Third word. Yeah. Okay. Kiss my. Kiss ass. my ass. Vince McMahon's Kiss My Ass Club. Kiss my Ass Club. Yes, that's exactly right, Sully. <laughs> <laughs> very, very good. Vince McMahon's oh. Kiss My Ass Club. Huge. Yeah. I haven't got the numbers of words wrong. Yeah, there's a slight delay on my internet, which makes this almost unbearably hard. <laughs> <laughs> you, you just need to hit you with a you handicap, well. John. You're too good at this. <laughs> I'm too, too good much. at wrestling. John, if you had six <laughs> fingers on your hand, it would have been fine because you could have done that. <laughs> All right, yes. Luke Owen, yes. DAD. Okay. Are you ready? Sure am. All right, uh, your DMs are Can full. We just keep guess guessing and guessing until we in, within the minute, or was it one guess? No, I I, I took that to be Sullivan's first guess, um, okay. and he he just happens that he was right. If he had been wrong, I would have taken it as that guess, and I would have removed okay. it from the round. Uh, right. Uh, okay, Luke. Let me know when you are ready. Okay, I think I'm good to go. All right, here we go. Starting now. Uh, can we full screen him? Yeah, let's full screen him. All right. I'll, I'll okay. go and kneel down. Choke. Choke slam. Uh, the Undertaker. Uh, is uh, oh, uh, Andy. Andy? Oh, oh, Ministry of Darkness. Incorrect. Tempest, you're on your own. Bums. All right, give it to me, Luke. Okay, yeah, we got we got Kane. 
Big Show? Is it Kane versus Big Show versus Raven at WrestleMania? Yes, it is. <laughs> it's very good. It's the hardcore triple threat oh, at Mania X Seven. Amazing. Oh, I thought you were. A bit, I thought it was like Stephanie being lifted up on the. I did think that's what it was. I thought it was the Steve Austin, the Undertaker, and the Crucifixion thing. I actually no, thought I... it was AJ Styles getting thrown over when uh, Undertaker oh, what, teleported the... behind him with a cinematic yeah. match. Yeah. Oh yeah. Very, very nice. I, I just wanted it's to it. replicate my favorite spot of this match, which is the. <laughs> <laughs> now that I know what you're doing, the face totally makes sense. <laughs> just for reference, Mama. well, these are the DMs I've had from Adam over the last year. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you're getting, right? One, one of them is Bastion Burger. <laughs> <laughs> that would be Jeremy, Jeremy Burger Jeremy. to you. Jeremy, Jeremy Burger. Jeremy. <laughs> Angela, are you ready for your performance? Sure. Sure, why not? All right, check your DMs. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Okay, let me know when you are ready and your minute for your team will start. Okay, uh, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, your minute starts now. <laughs> I don't know how else to do it. Okay. And I don't know He's if they've seen it. All right, you've got 47 uh, seconds. Uh, what is his like? <gasps> no clues. No clues. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Um, I, I think your I think your first your first thing was right, Angela. Do it again. Okay, okay. Yeah, I yeah, it yeah. was. Do it, again. Do it again. Oh, I know what it is. Uh, <laughs> I got stuck on my headphones. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's all I got. That's all I got, guys. All right, you, you got fifteen do, like, seconds. Individual words. Um, it's. Oh, 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 is it, um, is it, is it Cody's entrance with the, uh, with the elevator thing? It, <laughs> it, it, ki it kind of, <laughs> it kind of is. It kind of is. I've got to kind of give it that to you. So it was Cody Rhodes' return at WrestleMania. Uh, for Cody Rhodes, I'll give you two points. How about Yay! that? I'll that's, take that. I think that's nice. fair. That's fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold well on, I, I, I was oh, just about to say that. There's the clothes nipped in there. Right. Just in front. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like a close. Cody loves a close up face, doesn't he? I thought it was the um, <laughs> the, the Raw debut. Well, when he returned to Raw, and he got stuck in the elevator. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Did you? Yeah, it I, looks like you know what? Good. That's what I. That is actually what I was doing. I thought that happened at WrestleMania for some reason. I forgot it was on Raw, so that was on me. Amazing. I'm sticking out. I thought it was Keith Lee coming up into shot. Mm. Oh, that oh, would have been, would have been nice. nice. Yeah. All right, um, Andy. Yeah, I think you a DM. Is there... I mean, we can't hear you anymore, Andy. Andy. Very seriously. He's... Wow, that is hardcore to... charades. <laughs> is there I'm feedback? Uh, we move can... my voice box. We can hear you. <laughs> You're fine. Okay. I just, I just I need to hear their guesses. All right. Are you ready? Sure. Oh, wait, wait I haven't seen it yet. Sorry. <laughs> Are That's you... confidence. <laughs> that is so confident. Adam, I don't know what that is, but I'll, I'll give it a go. All right. This will go well. Uh... Okay, your one minute. <laughs> it's just suddenly very intense. Your one minute starts <laughs> now. Three words. First word. First word. The. Uh... Second, third word. Punch, fight, kick, kick. The, the rumble. Second word, <laughs> tea, drink, sip, sip, uh, shot, shot. <laughs> Have you ever played <laughs> before? <laughs> oh, well, that's a stunner. Stunner. <laughs> That's a punch kick. <laughs> kick punch is all in the mind. It's like what? You want to change Jackie Chan? You want to go? The T-World. The, 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 the... Oh, 
three to prop. Uh... <laughs> yeah, All just right. Do, do, it, do it again, Andy. Just keep it's doing the same thing. The room. It's now available to the room. Is it? Is it uh, Sullivan? Is it? Is it some yep. kind of uh, like the bar brawl or? It Something is or... not a bar brawl. Is Sullivan, Angela, you are out. Angela. The Blackpool um, Combat Club. It is not the Blackpool Combat Club, I'm afraid. Um, well, I get a John, well. you are the only. John, you're, you're the guess. only hope for a team at all right now. Well, you guys. Is it, guess, it the drunken fight? Is it the drunken fight? It is not the drunken fight. Right, so <laughs> Go on, Andy, Luke and Andy, 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 This is a thing he doesn't know. Andy, <laughs> it's a thing he doesn't know. Um, <laughs> first one is the the. <laughs> <laughs> this is very impressive. Oh, it's Do that again. Look at this. <laughs> it's the only you can take. It's gonna be. A, it's, a, it's a the something. Silent movie magic at its best. <laughs> I thought that's a choke slam. He said choke slam. He said a stunner. Okay, now now take an elevator down. The whole thing. The whole thing. Trapped in a box. Oh, trapped thing. in a box. All right. Yeah. Maybe oh, ride oh, ride oh, an escalator down. <laughs> Andy, don't you dare. Or maybe shark attack? Do a shark attack. Andy. This is incredible. Tempest. Tempest. This, is this is definitely the time Nick Bockwinkle won the AWA championship. <laughs> it is not Nick Bockwinkle. <laughs> right, All right. Okay, so, Luke, okay, okay, the so it is the... Okay, your second thing is sip. It is it. Uh, Come. What's the time frame on this, Adam? Uh, yeah. It's just, um, uh, okay, Adam. We're, do, we're doing this Adam, until Adam, time stops. Adam, the Royal Rumble. <laughs> it is not the Royal Rumble. Oh, Andy, man. talk us through it. Uh, it was something called the Mimosa Match. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, of course. So of course, I was the most. You like uh, right, <laughs> kick? Oh, he's just doing lots of wrestling moves. Yes, what the fuck is that called? It's a match. <laughs> you do another thing that sounds like match. Go like this. Yeah, that would have been really like, good actually. Oh, that. Like... that would have been good, but I was very frustrated like... and I didn't know how to do match. a mimosa in sign language. <laughs> mimosa is tough. I, I also think mimosas are more drank out of like. You know, yeah. oh, drink like, this is, this yeah. is yeah. Andy, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> what about this syllables, a... Andy? There are three <laughs> syllables to work with in mimosa. Yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> you you really think to those two bellends would have got that? They couldn't get that. Andy, yes. Andy, Excuse Andy, me. Don't blame us here. Don't, don't, blame, <laughs> us here. don't <laughs> blame us for your <laughs> inability to play This is great. They're falling apart, guys. This is how we win. Andy, only that you were bad. Syllables. No one knew it. Harry, right. Harry Jar Gable knew it. <laughs> there was something uh, so funny about watching you desperately try and show him a mimosa. That oh, it was great. Just constantly just doing the same action. They'll get it. If I keep drinking, they'll know it's mimosa. Just keep, keep, well, keep I was, it was like the drink fight. Was I was trying to hope that one of them... Yeah, knew, I, I, I guess the drink can fight. I still don't know what a mimosa yeah. match is. Marble. It's the just Jericho and the Orange there. Cassidy match from like two oh. years ago where he had to... Win by being thrown into a pool of mimosa. I cannot yeah, express express how much it tickled me. Just keep fighting, Andy. <laughs> You'll <laughs> get it eventually. Just keep <laughs> wrestling, wee lad. <laughs> Just keep fighting. <laughs> right forever. <laughs> All right, Sully. I've met. I, I I've messaged you. I can't believe it's still happening. This is not a fever <laughs> dream. You really got on your steps in today, Andy. Well done. Yeah. Sam. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, Blumenek. All right, Sully. Let me know when you're ready, pal. I am. I'm ready to go. All right, your minute. And Angela and John each get a guess. A minute, and I give it to the room. Your minute starts now. Oh, uh, uh, it's definitely Kane with Paul Bearer. I just don't know the specifics of like 
the the thing that's happening because I haven't seen that, but I know that it's Paul Bearer with the urn. Kane is like, how does fire go can, up? I can you uh, spell it out, Sully? Two, two, two words. words. Second word or first word? First word. Kane. Okay. Second, Second word. word. Two syllables. First, First 12, syllable. 12 seconds. Sleep. Wake. <laughs> Wake. <laughs> Team? All right, to the, to the room. It's to the room. Kane's debut. It is Kane's <laughs> debut. Very good. It's not Sorry. night. It's day. Not night. It's, it's day. It's day. <laughs> <laughs> because I could, because I knew what it was, uh, I could tell what he was trying to do, and it was very good. Oh, yeah, it is so much uh, better. It's almost as good as my one. Selwyn, you should have gone with the second syllable first. You go on you, uh, you. <laughs> yeah, Tell him, you should have just kept sound, doing it. Out the B. Oh. <laughs> oh. If you just started doing, I thought I'd done that pretty reset. well. <laughs> you, you were, yeah. you were doing it great. That's just my <laughs> lack of knowledge. Just start doing all of Kane's <laughs> moves, and they would have got it. Trust me. Oh, well, I know that. Right, oh. yeah. Tempest, oh, are you ready yeah. to close off this round? Oh, I don't know. After that one, cool. Give it to me anyway. Here you go, my friend. Whew. Tempest got enough oh, room to do this. I love this moment. All <laughs> right. Okay. So it's Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Mountie. <laughs> the Blue Jays win the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Tempest, are you ready? Yes. All right. Your minute starts now. Oh, oh as Batista. Time, time to do Batista. Uh, that is Batista grabbing and throwing. He is shouting. Shouting in someone's face. And pointing and then throwing. Who's, and then punching. Whose face does Batista... He's short. Hornswoggle. Mars. So is it Batista and Ray? Ray Mysterio. Hornswoggle. But, uh, Eight words. First word. Choke. Ray. Luchador. Ray. Second word. Me. You. Andy. Andy. No, no, that wasn't my guess. That was, I thought you pointed oh, right. <laughs> Eighth, Eighth word. word. Friend. So we've got Luchador. Okay. All right, to the room. Sullivan, 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 Sullivan. I've got a guess. Okay, uh, Ray, you're supposed to be my friend. He's not in. How many pieces yes. of that puzzle do you need? <laughs> I will tell. I will say, Tempest. Yeah. I still don't know what that is. Right. Yeah, me oh. neither. I, was, I wasn't watching wrestling at that point. You were right. supposed to be my friend. It's what. Watching, it's like a perfect. It's what, when, it's what, what year did this happen, moments. in Tempest? Two thousand nine. Well, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Sullivan, I'm so proud of you. I am too. Yeah, I also wasn't watching wrestling at that time, but that video just that came up on awesome, YouTube. Oh, there you go. All right, so. Here's how this goes. In second place with 29, Team No Rolls Bard. In first place with 40, Team Wrestle Talk. Don't worry, lads. All still to play for. Closing the gap. Closing the gap. <laughs> closing the gap. Um, we, we are on to our penultimate round here, folks. We're on to our penultimate oh. round, which is called Herd Mentality. Yes. We're going to be playing Herd Mentality. Uh, this, is the, this is the team version of Herd Mentality. I'm going to be offering you up a, a team based uh, uh no i'm gonna be offering you like a question uh you then write down the answer to that question on a pad uh then uh everyone's going to reveal at the same time everyone who is part of the majority gets a point for their team so for example if the entirety of team wrestle talk are in the majority they get three points for that question uh if only one person is in the majority from nrb only one point to nrb but it's still a point uh however if at any point any person is the odd person out the only person 
to give an answer that no one else has given, that person will be the odd man out and will designate their team the odd team out. At the end of eight questions, the team with the odd man out will gain zero points for the entire round. How far apart are we in points? Uh, 40 11. points, uh, 11 points between you. My, my, my process there was, oh, yeah, I love this game. Oh, shit, it's wrestling. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, so uh, a quick reminder, I'm going to be showing you a thing, giving you a, a, a question to answer. Everyone writes it down. Everyone shows at the same time. Uh, if there is a majority, everyone who's part of that majority will get one point for themselves for their team. Um, however, if there's ever an odd man out, that team is currently the odd man out. And at the end of the eighth question, whichever team is odd out will not score any points. Yes, Tempest. Can we read a few ultra chats while I go to the bathroom quickly? Yes, absolutely. Um, yeah. Hannah of the NRB Discord says, Go team NRB. Having a bit of a tough time, but so looking forward to this. I am proof you can love Sully and dislike the sock. Though Luke and Tempest are awesome, but Andy has ruined YouTube comments and bad mouth clock tower so he can suck a lemon. When did I bad mouth um, clock tower? Uh, usually offline said, I need John's best guess. Sorry, well informed recap of the Katie Vick storyline, please. Uh -oh. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, okay. Katie Vick's uh, heiress to the Vapor Rub fortune. Um, she was a huge wrestling um, star. Uh, and then, of course, it all ended in tears, um, literal tears, as. Uh, um, Okay, okay, now I'm watching your faces. All ended in tears as there was a terrible breakup and she had a fight with her sister. Oh. Yeah, go on. It was a bad, I mean, it definitely was a bad breakup. Oh yeah, it ended very badly. It ended her. terribly. Can't get much worse, in fact. Go. Give him the point, Chad. I reckon Chad. you could make it, you can make it all, right. all the things I've said that are correct. <laughs> <laughs> would form just about a thing. You can edit them into the correct order and have it be the correct yeah. answer. I mean, uh, John, you, you, John, you were just corpse fucking away from getting that bang on. Yeah. <laughs> and corpse I'm, fucking? I'm not. No, I'm not. Yeah. No, we, we're, we're moving on now. All right. Name a wrestling <laughs> move we? beginning with M. <laughs> All right. God. So remember, you are writing down. And then everyone's going to show at the same time. Everyone who is in the majority will earn a point for their team. If there is a singular odd person out, then that will render their team the odd team out. And if they are the odd team out at the end of the round after eight questions, then they will get zero points for the entire round. Stakes could not be higher. Stakes, do you get it? Like cows. Name a wrestling move beginning with M. Dirty Rich says, holy shit, it's that time again. We'll have to watch replay since I'm at work. Luke, good to see you back. Hope fatherhood's going well. I want to hear Sully get super happy and yell, hot dog! How about a super champions round for Quizlemania 50? Jam that jam. Sully, do you have a hot dog in you? If, oh, if, sorry, that if sounded we terrible. Win. <laughs> <laughs> if we win tonight, I'll tell you, There'll be a hundred hot dogs in me. If we win tonight, I will. <laughs> hot dogs in yeah. every orifice. In every orifice. <laughs> That's a promise. That's Even a the promise. ones you're not thinking of, be absolutely <laughs> stuffed to the brim with hot dogs. He will make new orifices. Um, <laughs> Brian Doyle, 95, says, Hi, guys. Hope you're all doing well this evening. I have a couple of questions for you guys. Who came up with the moustache break bit? And two, when will we see more of Laurie's amazing in-depth wrestling editorials? Jam that jam. Also, just for Andy, holla! Hang on a second. Holla, right. holla, holla! All right. Um, so who came up with the moustache break bit? Ollie Davis. Ollie, I think. Yeah. Yeah, oh, and Editor Simon. Uh, Editor Simon made it. Ollie Davis basically said to him, he's got a moustache, make something funny. And then so, Editor, Editor Simon created the moustache break. Delightful. And when we see more of Laurie's Amazing Explained? Uh, when people watch the other ones. <laughs> I mean, Which, okay. to be fair, to be fair, <laughs> just brought up in the meeting today, 100,000 views on the latest, uh, not the latest Explained, but the random Explained about WWE Championship belts. So, 
if all of them get random hundreds of thousands of views, we will probably start making it again. Huzzah. All right. Name a wrestling move beginning with M is what I asked you to do. Everyone's got something written down. Yes. Yeah. Right. Please reveal on three, two, one, and hold it at the camera. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, God. So, There's two people who have. Oh, this is God. great. This is great. All right. So, so far, the majority is Moonsault. Two are members on Team NRB, two members on Team WrestleTalk, which means two points for each team. And Andy. Uh, and John were both wrong, but they were both wrong together. So none of them were the odd man I can't out. Believe I can't think of Moonsault. I thought two of points. Thor and it was all I could think of. And two points. Very, very good. No teams in danger just yet. Both got two points. Lovely stuff. That's how you play herd mentality. Uh, second of all, number two, name the greatest professional wrestler <laughs> of all time. Oh, now, remember... Uh doesn't have to be what you really think. It has to be what your teammates think. All right. Uh, Rabbi Joe 316 says, number one, board game club rules. It's true. It's jam true. And number two, not sure if anyone's mentioned this, but Andy did a delightful job on that one news video. Well done, Andy. Still trying to get back on. Uh, so, uh, yes, board game clubs does rules. If you'd like to head on over to uh, NRB and subscribe, we'd like that. That would be nice. Uh, has everyone got an answer written down on the page? Not yet. So, uh, yes. yes. So keep, yeah, I'm, I'm going for what I think is probably the right answer rather than what I think. I hope the loop. Yeah. But... I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm going to try and read, <laughs> Raven read minds here. I'm trying to read There's minds. only one answer to this. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Re All right. Three, one. two, one, reveal. Oh yes, boy! Yes, oh wow! Okay. Is it? Yes, yeah, it's a two-way it's a, it's two tie for the top. So I'm afraid there are no points for anyone, but still, no one is the odd team out. Fascinating. Obviously, the Undertaker. I could have sworn, I, Luke. You said in the I, office the other day that Shawn Michaels is the greatest professional wrestler of all time. I'm a Bret Hart man, so I definitely wouldn't say that. I think Shawn Michaels is a proper prick. So I definitely yeah, think he's not a good at professional wrestling. <laughs> all right. How about, let's have a dichotomy one. Let's have a two-choice question. Would you rather be trapped in a lift with Hulk Hogan or Vince McMahon? Oh, God. <laughs> Would you rather easy, be trapped easy. in a lift with easy, Hulk Hogan easy. or Vince McMahon? Uh, Zach Bowles says, you all skipped over the first half of my question during Big Fat Quiz of the Year because we were busy laughing at Sullivan, but who is the cheekier cunt host, Adam or Jimmy Carr? Also, I just bought two unmatched packs and my fiance and I love it. Thanks for the recommendation. You're very welcome. And thanks for engaging with the content, Zach. <laughs> um, Adam, you've been such a cheeky cunt. What yeah. she's done. Uh, Robert's <laughs> Club says, wait a second. I just realized that Adam is Plumpy's younger brother. It all makes sense now. Delightful stuff. All right. Would you rather be trapped in a lift with Hulk Hogan or Vince McMahon? Three, two, one. Oh. Okay. Whoa. Vince McMahon has it, which means three points for Team WrestleTalk and only one point for Team NRB. B. Hulk Hogan you can ask him about a star and role in Mr. Nanny. Come on. It's obviously Hulk Hogan. The minute any of you guys <laughs> sneeze, you're going to be destroyed. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I just don't want to hear any of Hulk Hogan's views on anything. Yeah. It Whereas Vince's good. views, right up to the minute. No, <laughs> yeah. no problem there. I just, I just have suspicions about Vince. I know things about Hulk. Yeah, Vince, won't, <laughs> Hulk, Vince didn't pretend he was going to be a basis for Metallica. <laughs> is that the line is it all right number four name the legit toughest wrestler of all time i'm not sure why that has a question mark um that guy oh. harvey says the first post mania quizzle mania and it's time to have a great evening tonight marks the first time the first quizzle mania we can all truly acknowledge acknowledge our unified undisputed jam that champion our subscribal chief Adam Blompier. I'm a huge fan of that and will probably steal it. Uh, Jared McCullough says, rooting for Team NRB. Excited for the in-person blood on the clock tower. You should be. We've st we've seen mm -hmm. bits of it and it's amazing. I absolutely love the content NRB have been putting out. Genuinely some of my favorite content on the internet. Thank you so much, Jared. That's amazing. And if you haven't checked out No Rolls Bard yet, 
uh, search it on YouTube, give us a subscribe, and have a watch at that. Like maybe if you're not into board games, just check out maybe some of the lists uh, to see if that's in. It sounds like something you'd like. We've got loads of games of like Secret Hitler. We've got loads of games of like stuff that you probably play. We even got like a game of Werewolf on there. Like you've heard of that. So just start there and see if that grabs you. And if you could give us a subscribe, we'd absolutely love it. Uh, name the legit toughest wrestler of all time i will accept if they got different gimmicks and stuff i will accept that obviously uh three two one go easy meng 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 and haku (laughs) (laughs) all right so meng has it and haku with the same person so that is three points for team wrestle talk one point for team nrb mick didn't the undertaker come back from the dead (laughs) it's tough that's pretty Andy, tough. Yeah, it's pretty tough. tough. It's a lot more tough, tough than like... anything Haku ever did. I know necromancers <laughs> are pretty, pretty brittle, though. Yeah, I wouldn't, it's, it's, I wouldn't mess it's, with, it's, a, it's with an undead mode. man. You have, uh, mm. you have gracefully sidestepped around the word legit, but I, you know, I completely <laughs> understand. <laughs> I mean, if the Undertaker was a legit tough man, he wouldn't have been killed in the first place, right? He, he, he can get killed. He can come back. Now you try and kill if I Meng. was immortal, I'd die all the time. <laughs> you try and kill Meng. Meng is a All right. Um, question five. What is the greatest board game ever made? Oh. oh. What did you say earlier, Luke? Nala uh, says, what's up, everyone? What's up, Adam? Hope your our ass is doing fine. Question to everyone. Who is your favorite Disney animal? Hashtag subscribe <laughs> to NRB. Hashtag make Andy host again. What's everyone's favorite Disney animal? Um, Ollie's is Judy Hopps. It is. He proper fancies Judy Hopps. Yeah. It's oh, that's tail. a fair call. That's a fair call. It's yeah. the ears and the tail. Yeah, uh, I, once, I once showed him a picture of a uh, an actual woman dressed as Judy Hopps. He said, "It's not the same." <laughs> <laughs> Too realistic. Don't like it. <laughs> it's not. She hasn't. The same. She hasn't got fur. What's the point? I mean, it, it, it is not the same. It's not the same. <laughs> yeah, he's he's right for the wrong it's reasons. Judy, Judy All right. Hopps. Who the hell is Judy Hart? From Zootopia. Zootopia. Zootopia the really oh, one. right. Um, oh, I see. I'm She's the go really with... hot rabbit. Like, so hot. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're talking Lola Bunny. Isn't that what we're Lola doing? Lola Bunny, yeah, yeah. I okay. would say oh, Lola my. Bunny is, is two in your face. Judy Hopps is more sort of oh, understated. Oh, you do not go like Google Image search her Judy voice. Hopps. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, she's just, he's with bugs. I can't do that. There's um, one picture of her here where she's 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 it wrapped it seemingly in bandages and her legs are in a bucket of concrete. I don't know what's going on there. Don't Google image search Judy Hopps, whatever you do. That's Ooh. Judy Hopps. That's Judy Hopps. She's oh, no bu- she's what's no a, bunny rabbit. That's Ollie's favorite. Yeah, that's yeah. Ollie's I, favorite. I, I still like Lola better, to be fair. Personally. Yeah, Lola, Lola is better. She is. Was it favorite just not, animals or Disney. was it Disney animals? Moving on. What's the greatest <laughs> board game ever made? Everyone's got an answer written down, no, yeah? No. For oh, fuck's yeah. sake. Well, it's oh, really come on. This one's hard. This one's Have you all written Judy Hopps down for this? You monsters. <laughs> I'm going historical. All right. Three, two, one, show. We got chess. unmatched chess, blood in the clock tower, cosmic encounter. Blood in the clock tower is the correct answer according to the group. So that is one point each to Team Wrestle Talk and Team NRV. All right. Who wanted now- to put monoply? <laughs> monoply. <laughs> Huge fan. Uh, number six. Name one of the New World Order. Just name one of the New World Order. How far does this extend? There's a, there's hey, a bunch of different question. kinds. Tempest. The thing is, the thing is Tempest, really. it doesn't have to be right. It just has mm. to match with what other people put. You could all put carrot and you'd all get points because everyone's put carrot. Oh, don't tempt me to write carrot. Don't down. all put carrot. <laughs> don't tempt me, Pogo. Don't, don't, don't all put carrot. I will leave. Don't put carrot. Don't all put carrot. Guys. Oh, <laughs> don't all put carrot. All right, I mean, puddle. Looks like uh, a carrot. 
Uh, with NRB here, me and my almost 100 new board games say thank you for your board game channel, and my wallet has to say fuck you for your board game channel. Also, subscribe to the No Rolls Bard Patron. Yeah, absolutely. If you've got mm. a couple of bucks to spare, uh, we have uncut episodes of Board Game Club. We've got all sorts going on. We've got exclusive Blood on the Clock Tower episodes. We've got exclusive Telestrations episodes. It's lovely over there. Plus, a, a Discord full of some of the loveliest people you'll ever meet. Um, all right. Now, name one of the new world order three two one so we've got <laughs> hulk <Ten Hogan>. <laughs> all right so hulk hogan <laughs> takes it uh paul bearer razor ramon and carrot do not take it wasn't it. fun then tempest <laughs> I, I, I see carrot. three different people writing carrot i to be fair i wrote carrot hulk hogan I, I also oh. wrote carrot in parentheses. I drew a carrot. <laughs> two points to wrestle talk, one point to NRB. Uh, question number seven. Uh, only two more questions left of this round. Then we'll have a little break to speak to our sponsors. Then we'll do our final round. Then we'll finish off the ultra chats and we're home free. Uh, question number seven. What is the perfect length for a pay per view? What is the perfect length for a pay per view? Um, Benny Boy 004 says Quizomania is back and I don't have work. Are we getting Cinemania back soon, Luke? Um, maybe. That means maybe. no, doesn't it? it? <laughs> Currently, it is no, but maybe. Um, if, if budget allows, then maybe. Richard Stevens says, keep up the great work, guys. Loving the content you guys create. You guys, both at WrestleTalk and NRB, are the highlights of my day. My question is, how much are you looking forward to Cash versus Dax on Dynamite tonight? So yes. much so. So and much so. Holy crap. I am what? getting up at 6 a.m. tomorrow to watch it. And I Who wins, play. people John, are saying. John, what is, I was going to say, John, what is your... Why, why do you think this match is going to be so sort of so crazy? Sorry, who is this? This is Dax versus Dax. Dax Cash. Uh, Harwood versus Cash Wheeler. What? So, what about this match makes it so gripping? Well, there's just much to play for. Both wrestlers have got so much history. They really care about each other. They're really invested in their their twin <laughs> teams. Um, and for me, it's just really going to be about seeing who comes out on top and who really can show that they really care the most about what they care about. Nothing Fair wrong enough. there. There's nothing wrong there. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely perfect. <laughs> Not one word of that was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was missing a, a crucial detail, but not one word of that was wrong. So we will take yeah. it. Um, finally, who, well who should headline the Forbidden Door pay per view? Anyone shout out a guest, and then we will move on. Um, Tempest, what did we the say? Undertaker. Um, yeah, ideally. Yeah. The Undertaker versus Carrot. Come on. I think we said a, I think we said a, <laughs> we said a card. <laughs> the match we've all been waiting yeah. for. Uh, Daniel, Daniel Sinacada, do you think? No, a card of punk. A card of punk. But, well, if I, I quite like the idea we got in an ultra chat like a week ago. I think the main event's going to be Okada and Adam Cole. I think if, I, I think a card of page, surely, right? Top guy from each pro each promotion. Um, if punk wins a title, they double or nothing. Mm -hmm. There's a lot to play here. Holy moly! All right, what's the perfect length for a pay per view? Everyone's got an answer on the page. Mm -hmm. yep. uh -huh. Three, two, one. We got three hours, three hours, oh, two and a half hours. <laughs> oh, very good. So that is two points each to oh, team wrestling. Stop ruining this for us. Thank you, it's too long. I will say <laughs> so far, there is no odd team out. It yeah. could happen on this last question, though. Terrifying. Be odd. prepared. Oh. Which wrestler? Is the best at board games. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Which wrestler <laughs> is the best at board games? Who would be the best at board games? Which wrestler would be the best at board games? Uh, Ferretti says, Oh my days. <laughs> I think there is a right answer. Team NRB right. versus Team Wrestle Talk, best day ever. Question for John: How was the honeymoon? I call myself a werewolf, uh, although more of an apocalypse roleplay variety. Can I get a howl and one for sock puppet Sullivan? Oh, uh, oh, oh! Uh, the honeymoon was wonderful. Oh. Thank you. Uh, we took the train to Adelaide with loads of baby boomers uh, and us, and we drank loads of wine and ate lots of food, and it was great. 
Thank you for asking. You took the train all the way to Adelaide. That must have taken fucking ages. From London to Adelaide. It's a new line. It's just That's opened up. It took three years. The Adelaide <laughs> <Great>. line. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, the Adelaide train. Next it's got stop. two stops. And it's was there with a rail card. <laughs> yeah, Next it's Clapham Adelaide. Junction and then Adelaide. <laughs> and if you get the wrong train, oh, it's bad. <laughs> oh, you don't want to wake up drunk on that train. You're there for days. Oh, oh Miss Clapham. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, shit. What well, I live here before? now. <laughs> Two-year train. <laughs> Stupid. Which wrestler is the best at board games? Do we all have an answer on the page? Yeah. Yes. I've got right. my brackets, so that's not my yeah. answer. Three, two, one, show. Yes. Oh, dear. Oh, oh we got Damo, big Damo, big Damo, big Damo, The Undertaker and Ember <laughs> Moon. So Fuck, of course that's it's two, big Damo. two no, points. Four games with him, John, for God's sake. I forgot Ember oh, Moon's he was really a real wrestler. Good, he was apparently. just a nice guy. That would have been it too. If John really put Big Demo, we would have lost all our points. If John had put oh, Big Demo, you would have lost all your it points. It did go through my mind, oh, but I just oh. thought because of up, up, down, down, people would just go woods. I would. would you oh, John. Oh, play, John. You're it. so right. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, guys. All right. So the scores the after really that. Good at ball games, guys. You need to talk to him. He's great. He loves Monopoly. <laughs> Yeah, he's into the old traditions. Um, so uh, the final scores, uh, not the final scores, the penultimate scores before the final round. In last place, no, let's be generous. In second place with 39, it's team no rolls barred. And it in second right from last us. place, in second from last place with 55 points is team wrestle talk still all to play for but before we go into our final round we do want to remind you this is a sponsored stream we are being sponsored by surfshark vpn they're an amazing service we love them very very dearly and here's a little bit more about why we love them so much. The point of Silly Quizzle Mania and its silly, silly content is to be a distraction from the world. Ooh, world, you scary. If your response to the world being a stupid place full of awful people is to barricade yourself on your sofa, you've made the smart play. While avoiding the world at large, it seems only fair you get to access the excellent streaming services of the world at large. For that, Surfshark has got you covered. Are you in the UK and want to watch all the Warner Brothers films that'll be coming to HBO Max this year? Maybe you're in the US and want to catch all the peep show using UK Netflix. It's great, you should by the way. Maybe you want to check out iPlayer, Hulu, Global Entertainment and Sports and much, much more all from the same sofa than you, Surfshark. It has over 1,800 servers in over 60 countries and when you sign up, you can use it on an unlimited number of devices at the same time. It works on Mac, PC, Xbox, PS4, mobile, smart TV, any device you can think of. Get Surfshark VPN at surfshark.deals forward slash jamnatjam. Enter promo code jamnatjam for 83% off and four months for free. Make sure you use that link in code so Surfshark knows that Quizzlemania sent you. Again, that's Surfshark dot deals forward slash jam that jam enter promo code jam that jam for 83 percent off and four months for free all right folks um let's kick off the final round of quizzle mania and that of course will be that's my line uh, so the way this is going to work out is you're going to each team uh, will step up separately. Uh, that team will have to work together to try and identify a wrestler. Uh, you will start with 20 points. Um, each incorrect, each question that is not a correct guess will lose you a point like that. Um, if you guess correctly, you will gain the number of points that are on screen. We are going to do it from right to left for each team. Um, start, so basically, we're going to start with the political team in second place, which is currently Team NRB. We're going to start with Sullivan, who will ask a question. Then Angela will ask a question. Then John will ask a question. Then back to Sullivan. There must be no conferring during this round very very so the simple point difference is 15 is it so they need to get it in four basically the yeah, current points difference four. is 16 39 16. to 55 right Add yes Luke. More, get it, more importantly do we each get a yes or is it one guess you each would uh, what do you mean sorry so like so that's a question but like say if tempest got it wrong would andy and i still have guesses 
Oh, it, it's that's my line. But you just basically instead of one person getting 20 questions between the three of you, you share 20 questions. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Tempest <clears throat> could make a guess and it'd be wrong. Then it will go to Andy, then you, then back to Tempest, then Andy, then you, then back to Tempest. Uh, and then once you've got through all 20 of your questions, your score will be zero and you will be stopped and killed. Um, I have uh, and I have assigned you each a wrestler. Um, all right. Uh, let me just get your wrestlers information team n r b uh two seconds Sorry. Sorry. Well, I, I don't understand this yeah absolutely man uh, it's 20 questions but in basically you know when you, you so you have to ask me yes or no questions to try and whittle oh, down okay. data to, to guess a wrestler you can make a got guess it, whenever it. you want but any question that is not is it correct answer will cost you a point uh we'll start with sullivan then angela then you then back to sullivan then angela then you and we'll keep going till either you get it right and get the number of points that are currently on screen or uh you run out of 20 questions and your score is zero and we move right along are we all clear yes just just yeah. to confirm we need to get this in three guesses to win and then we need to get it in. We, we then we don't get it at all. Yes, yeah. that is correct. I'm feeling pretty confident, guys. I think it's good. We got so, this. okay, okay. All right, Sullivan, you are you ready? <laughs> yep, yep. Sullivan, are you ready? Yep, yep. I'm ready. Go for it. <sighs> oh, do I just do I just do I just do it? Do I just? Anyone's looking at your screen now. Yeah. You, yeah, Tully, why don't we just guess one? Yeah, I think I just go for it. Okay. Is it The Undertaker? I was going to guess The no. Undertaker. <laughs> okay. Are they billed at over 205 pounds? Oh my God. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. You've got to get it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, hang on. 205, yes. Two hundred and five. Yes. What What does that mean? They're about uh, over hundred kilos, ish. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I've just got to guess a wrestler. Yeah. Okay. No pressure, guys. No pressure. Um, <laughs> is it? Is this wrestler for the whole competition? Is this wrestler Stone Cold Steve Austin? No. We are currently on 17 points. Sullivan, the only way for... And I'll be, no, we're on 17. There's a 16-point differential. Sully, <laughs> you need to guess this correctly for NRB to have any chance of winning. Oh, I forgot to start. No, no problem. Oh. I will say, if it's a, if it's a draw, I'll, I'll, I'll happily concede. <laughs> oh, Sully, do you want me, Sully, do you want me to guess? Do you want me to guess? No. I, have a, I have a perfect no. guess. No, no. Okay, no, if you've got a no. perfect guess. No, no, I'm so, I... sorry, no. Sully. Okay, I'm so sorry. This is for you, Sullivan. Sullivan, this is for you. You Baby have to guess on. this correctly. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, if it is this, I'll be very happy. Is it Ric Flair? It's fucking Ric Flair! Yes! 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 I knew it was me! Yes! 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 Oh my god! My guess was wrong. My guess was wrong. Yes, 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 How did you get that? Oh, it's because on my very first appearance on this show, I went through all 20 questions and I didn't guess Ric Flair, Amazing. one of the most famous wrestlers of all time. And it sent me mad. And now, yes. Yes. look what's happened. Team WrestleTalk. Oh, man, I'm so oh. mad. Oh my is god! Adam just going to All we have to do is hope three wrestling now. experts don't get any of these <laughs> right for twenty guys. Yeah, absolutely. We're in. Yeah. Uh, he is going to give us someone utterly <laughs> impossible just so that no easy, Ross Bard wins. Sullivan. All right. If, oh. if they don't get Sullivan. any, do we win or is it a draw? Yes, a draw. If they get to zero, you win because currently win. the scores are fifty-six <laughs> points to Team NRB. 55 points to Team WrestleTalk. It has to be a complete washout, and Team NRB will <laughs> win. Yes! Oh, oh, the story of the century. Oh. oh my god! 
<laughs> and, he's, and like I say, he's definitely come up with someone real this hard. This is going to be a hard one. It's going to be, so, it's going to be that Winkle Man, or it's called. You know what, Winkle, Winkle, Man. Winkle Man? Winkle Man. No, Tempest, Damn. don't piss it on the wall. Let's play it properly. No, don't overthink it, no. guys. Just go for it. We are, yeah. we are the three-man Just... power trip. We are three former Quizzlemania champions. We can get one round of That's My Line within, like, 19 guesses. We can do this, mm. boys. This is Together. not over. Together. All right, you can, but we will get be it. the dream redemption story for Sullivan Bo Brown. Will this be the underdog upset of the century for Team No Rolls Punch, or will it be snatched away from them? Tempest, you are at bat. Hit me with your first question Are they a man? Yes, Andy, this is your question. Are they currently an active wrestler? No. Thought so. Luke. Uh, was their glory is... No, that's too obscure. Have they performed at a WrestleMania? <clears throat> Open cage match. <laughs> yes. I don't think I've ever been so tense in all my life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The wording of perform, eh? All right, Tempest, back to you. Did they compete at WrestleMania? In the eighties, no. Oh. And you, up to you. Right. In the nineties, at WrestleMania, no. This is going to be something. Um, did they... Okay, because we need to get our wording correct here. So, Tempest, you... Oh, well, not us confer. So, I will ask. Did they wrestle at a WrestleMania in between 2000 and 2010? Yes. Okay. There's it down. Okay. Um, would they be billed at over 210 pounds? Over 210, yes. So it's not a cruiser. Um, I am going to change an answer. Yes, they did You're perform not... at WrestleMania in the 90s. Okay. Mm. I'll give you that for free. You, did you mean... So Tempest's question was... Uh, Luke, sorry, Luke's question was two, that between 2000 and 2010. Wrestle a match. Do you mean they wrestled a match in the 90s as well? Let's just... Uh, yes, yes in the 90s. Yes in the 2000s. Okay. Wrestle the match. Right. Oh, it's tense. I uh, oh, I've never oh, Andy, you're up. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm saying I'm gonna think. In, uh, did they wrestle for a championship belt at either of these uh, at any WrestleMania? No. Keep adding on to this WrestleMania note. That's <laughs> supposed to be yeah. one bullet point. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've got man, not active. Mania, <laughs> 90s? <laughs> <laughs> That's 
that's as much as I would have, Luke. I would be exactly yeah. the same. I don't struggle Just to remember which way, uh, and then struggle to remember which like way the greater than sign goes round. <laughs> sounds like the rap sheet of a serial killer. Mania. The clock girl eats the bigger number. <laughs> Did they wrestle it. at WrestleMania in a tag team match? Yes. I don't know if these questions are helping or not. They sound like they are. Uh, oh, you're almost halfway through, lads. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're almost halfway through. Oh, boy. Okay, go. Um... Did this person ever hold a championship in WWE? Yes. That sounds bad for us. Possibly. Possibly. I mean, it doesn't really narrow it down. Um... Are they Caucasian? Yes. Adam's favorite question. Okay, good. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. So <laughs> tense. Oh god. Can't handle it. <laughs> I'm gonna look so much. Horrible. I'm even doing anything. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a guess. <gasps> oh, okay. Grandmaster Sexy. It fucking is Grandmaster it's Sexy! Over me. It's over yes. for you, Sully. Guess Rick Flair a third time. Do you know how oh. I got that? Do you know how I got that? Oh, Luke, I'm heartbroken. Did you say Grandmaster Sex Aid? <laughs> no, Grandmaster Sex A. Because that, that guy's not a sex too. aid, let me tell you that much. So. One of my, I'm actually, I, I'm, I'm so nearly sad. asked whether he was still alive. Adam, do you know how I got that? How'd you get that, Luke? It was actually your 90s thing, because I bet you, you forgot he was in the tag team battle royal at WrestleMania checked. 14. I checked, yeah. God fucking Shit. damn it. Well <laughs> done. Team NRB in the saddest, heartbreaking victory. <laughs> It's it's not what the people wanted, but the heels have prevailed. Wait, no, let me to keep the doing the NXT review. As well. <laughs> well, NRB Come shut down, folks. Guy. We had a good run. <laughs> oh, no. There are no that... hot dogs to be had in anyone's eye holes or bum holes. <laughs> Zero. Zero dogs. <laughs> All right. Oh. Uh, the final scores with 56, Team No Rolls Barred, with 64, Team great work, Wrestle Luke. Talk Thanks, very, Amazing. very good, everybody. I take back um, everything I said earlier. So that is the end of the quiz. We still have some ultra congratulations. First off, I'm I'm heartbroken, Luke. I hope you realize yeah, what it is sorry. that you have done. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Ruined it for everyone. Sully, Sully, how do you feel? I think I'm genuinely the most devastated I've ever been after a Quizlemania. I, I usually am just like, well, you know, that's fine. But this time we really worked hard. We did. <laughs> I thought yeah. We were going to do it. Frankly, frankly, John, you're going to have to be disappointed with your teammates. I thought they really dragged you down. Yeah. yeah. I'll be honest. Game. I was really carrying the team, but you know, sometimes just one guy isn't enough. You need, you need a competent team behind you. And I just didn't have it. Yeah. If only we All had right. somebody on the team who got 17 <laughs> points in one fell swoop, but we didn't. <laughs> you, guys, you guys did so well. I really want to clarify that. I did absolutely <laughs> fuck all in that whole game. You did very so well. Fun. You did very well. It was but amazing. You get five points at the start with the... You did. You, did. you started off strong. strong. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, folks, congratulations to, to Wrestle Talk. You really deserved it. And everyone in the comments is super happy I, for yeah, you. Yeah, I just checked. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, are, we are the new Monopoly champions. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> you do realize this makes you like the super mega awesome Grand Slam champion because you're a trios champion now. Oh my yeah. God, you are. Yeah, yeah. Look, you're such a heel. Why did you do that to No Rolls Bar? <laughs> yeah, rude. <laughs> Sorry, I thought everyone. we were friends. Tempest and I, we were we were actively trying to get it wrong. 
I, uh, I am now uh, Triple H, Reign of Terror. <laughs> I, I asked, is Didn't wrestling even. man white? Of course he is. All right, so we we have a few pages of Ultra Chats to, to go through. If anyone needs to go, now would be the time to do it. I realize it is half 11 in the UK. If anyone needs to go, please feel free. Otherwise, we will press on with Ultra Chats. We've got about three pages or so. How do people feel? I, I can say, hang around for a bit. I'm good. I'm going to make myself a tea, but uh, I'm good. Well, Just absolutely. Flag up if you... Better it will be. Think of how much if better ever... it'll be when they beat us next time. <laughs> We're building to oh. the return match, people. If they ever do, yeah. All right, yeah. If you ever do need to go, anyone, just let me know. Uh, but Trent on school wise says Randy Andy needs to do more news. He's great. Also, I wish I could sit down and have a coffee with Sullivan. His positive energy could even make Vince McMahon smile. You're all wonderful. Thanks for Quizomania, Adam. Jam that jam. Chaos Coulter says, Angela, a raven from one Ollie Davis informs me that the channel must be purged if you fail at today's mental challenge. Do not fail the four. Oops. <laughs> you know, I would quite like to see what Vince McMahon's reaction to Sully would be. I just I think know he would make of him. I think he would either be delighted or disgusted. I don't think there's a middle ground. <laughs> you would immediately be put in the ring with a, a ultra British gimmick. <laughs> oh yes oh yes absolutely um brian more or less says adam you have said that no rolls barred is the main reason you joined wrestle talk does that mean you will quit if no rolls barred loses <laughs> well I, I was planning on putting that in an email tomorrow morning but we might as well get it out here now no rolls barred is officially disbanding get uh subscribe to no rolls barred while you still can say to yourself you can be one of the last subscribers that no rolls barred ever have because it will be gone in the morning uh the wrestling life says i was just able to compete in fan quiz and came second next time i'll win question are there any young stars in wrestling currently that you think could be a future star i am personally hyped for the future of bron breaker and carmelo hayes great choices both uh yeah luke is pointing at hook Oh, yeah, absolutely, Hook. Sand Hook. Jungle There's... Boy or Jungle, Jungle Bob, Boy's I guess. <laughs> Jungle Bob, <laughs> thank you. Ty Conti. Uh... Wheeler, Wheeler Yuta. Wheeler. Yuta's yeah, Wheeler Yuta right is incredibly over right now. And he's doing amazing you. stuff right now. I love it. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I actually want to give a shout out to Roxanne Perez. I don't like NXT much, but Roxy is awesome. One of the best things about that show right and now. And they're really pushing her, aren't they? Sure. <laughs> Beat her in her second match. Uh, uh, Vandalia1998 says, so when is WrestleTalk going to get a board game for NRB to play? And for five points, can you name who won the WWE Championship in 1999, the day I first started watching wrestling? Clue, it was someone who no one wanted to win. Answer, it was Vince McMahon. <laughs> that was the day when you thought, hey, I'm going to watch another episode of this. <laughs> I want to see where they're going with this 50-year-old man. Hey, Adam, uh, if today couldn't get any better for me, I've just been informed that I am currently joint first in our Wordle League. Luke, wow. I can't I tell I you how much I commentate you. As, as is Angela, Sully. Angela, you are not last. Oh, thank goodness. Good Lord. <laughs> I was so, I fell from grace so hard because the week before you won, I was top. And then right. I just turtled the entire time now. To, to make you feel better, Angela, uh, you are one point ahead of Tempest, and Tempest has only submitted once this week, so he's actually had two busts. So that's how well you're doing. Okay, well, thanks, Andy. That makes me feel a lot better. Don't worry. <laughs> you're, you're awesome. I Thanks. Uh, Renee the Jackdaw says, I want to say thank you to all of you because Quizomania NRB has really helped me deal with my gender dysmorphia. One thing to Adam, thank you so much for mentioning After School Dice Club on NRB. It's amazing and I love it. Thanks, Adam. You're very, very welcome. We're so happy we could be here for you. And yes, uh, After School Dice Club is amazing. They do a bit where they, they play cockroach poker and it's ridiculous. I haven't watched the last episode yet. Because I can't bring myself to like do so because I know it ends and it just ends. Mm. It's so cute. It's so cute. Uh, Will Campbell says, hey, everyone, don't usually catch this live, but I had to today. Big fan of both channels, but I'm pulling for NRB in this one. Thanks, Luke. Uh, Angela, I also love the Sammy Nakamura match from Ring of Hunter, though my all time favorite is Kofi Mania. Love mm. you all. Get on 
board. Van Twinblade says, this didn't send the other one, was part two. It's Love O'Clock, y'all. Also, the Glory Pro show from Sundays on YouTube at Glory Pro Live. Ethan Page showed up because Brody King couldn't make it. Had an amazing opening with Ethan Price. Jake Something and Suzuki rocked. And Dan Housen looked amazing in his first match back, teaming with Dan the Dad against Gunsling and Max Fitchell and Spitfire, Davey Vega, aka Grindhouse 99, Dad Housen matches on YouTube solo. Uh, it is Love O'Clock, and you know how Love O'Clock works. I'm going to ask you to go around in the circle and say something nice about the person in clockwise order from you. So, Luke, will you say something nice about Andy Datsun? Have you seen Andy Datsun? One of the world's nicest people. Oh, Andy, could you say something nice about Tempest, please? Uh, he's really hun. No, um, <laughs> I... Big old uh... dick. All right, Tempest, <laughs> could you say something nice about Sullivan Bowe I can't wait to meet him, is what I'm, is what I'm saying, is, is my nice... And his me. massive penis. <laughs> he actually has a weather mask all over his body for it. Uh, I Tempest. A mask, really. Tempest, could you say something nice about Sully, please? Let's not dwell. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what what is there to say that wouldn't be nice about Sully? He's genuinely like a golden retriever of a human. You know, he's just the most pleasant, wonderful, you know, kind ray of sunshine that you could expect out of a out of a human man. So keep keep doing that, Sullivan. Keep keep being that Thank ray you. of sunshine. Thank you, lovely much. Sullivan. Could you say something nice about Angela from Hobby Night, please? Angela is a wonderful human being who has a wonderful YouTube channel. Everyone go and follow Hobby Night. Subscribe to her now or else. Uh, and she's also an excellent Blood on the Clock Tower player and is very funny and is very nice and has got a great cat. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, thank you. Uh, Angela, could you say something nice about John Gracie, please? John is an absolutely amazing person who has an awesome game called Mini Mysteries, which you all should check out if you like mystery games because it's epic and you should definitely check it out. It's also the first one's Egyptian themed, which is one of my favorite themings. I love it. I absolutely love it. Absolutely. We're going to be putting out <laughs> Tempest. I don't know. I, I don't know the connection there, but I'll take it because I like Batista. <laughs> Please do everyone check out uh, Mini Mysteries by John Gracie. We have our envelope of Mini Mysteries in the office. We're going to open it up. We're going to have a little look at the content. We're going to we're going to take some photographs of the stuff that won't spoil anything and put it out on our socials very soon. But do Google Mini Mysteries. It's a fantastic series of escape rooms in an envelope. Uh, John, could you say something nice, if you can, about uh, certified prick Luke Owen, please? <laughs> Luke is so nice that even though he just ruined our chances of the most Hail Mary victory of all time, I still look at his kind face uh, and his, his very sweet, gentle personality. And I think, even though I don't know you very well, I think we would be really, really good friends. Uh, and I hope that that happens very soon, because from what I know, you are a lovely, lovely man. And I, I hope we can hang out and get to know each other even better in the years to come. I look forward to that. I look forward to that a lot, mate. That was nice. I always like Love O'Clock. Adam is nice. Thank you, Auntie. I appreciate you. Uh, Donato, um, you're, you're about to be going through uh, a, a wonderful time on the channel. Uh, Donato Hunter says, go, go, Team NRB. Hopefully this puts us one step closer to the inevitable clash between Sock Puppet Sullivan and Adam Blamplate. JW Pringle says, having a, a kind of crap week, but because of that, here is the mental health moment. Remember, if you, need, if you think you need help, please reach out. It's difficult, but totally worth it. You're loved and worthy, and we need you here with us. Board game, that jam. That's a wonderful sentiment. Thank you, J.W. Pringle. Uh, Kino says, long time watcher, first time ultra chatting. I attended Dynamite and Rampage on 420. It's first live wrestling I've seen in over a decade. And it was incredible. I can check seeing Sting, Punk, Danielson, Moxley, Kingston, and Darby off my bucket list. That's an excellent bucket list in one fell swoop as well. Who could say they saw Sting, Punk, Danielson, Moxley on the same night? Amazing. Okay. Uh, Jason Gutierrez says, fuck love o'clock. Now introducing hate o'clock. Say something <laughs> you hate about your teammates. Uh, Tom, could you say, uh, sorry, John, could you say something you hate about Luke Owen, please? <laughs> no, I can't. I really like Luke. He seems really nice. Is this, uh, no, this is about your team. Sorry. I won't. So you, All right. You have to be with me within our teams. Oh, if it's uh, Sully, yeah. Fucking hate the guy. What a piece of shit. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's only fair. That's fair. I deserve that. No, I also love <laughs> Sully and Angela very much. They're all great. I, I won't participate in Haylock. I don't believe in it. They're all too Quite nice. Right. Sorry, um, I, I, I don't. I don't like how Luke's impression of me is just so, just his voice, but slightly deeper. And doing it's this, pretty, it's pretty spot on, though, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's not Project Spot on actually. Wait a second, like Andy, stop Luke's, talking. Uh... I want to hear Luke's impression. Here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that Luke's impression of me in the South Park guy. <laughs> oh, hey, what? Oh, where's Luke's impression about it? <laughs> what am I talking about, eh? It's I don't me. like to be an XP guy. Ah, I better drown my feelings in some poutine, guy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Lady Degenhausen says, hello, you beautiful guys and dolls. Join late, so we'll be catching up. So happy to see all you wonderful, talented people fighting for what can only be described as the poor man's BTE championship. So happy to see Ollie. Love you all. Hashtag Stan Sully. Cars Rush 143 says, question for Adam. Is The Shawshank Redemption still your favorite movie of all time? I saw your favorite films video on What Culture. Didn't think it could have been that great. And boy, was I wrong. It's the greatest movie ever. No. It's, a se- it's the second greatest movie ever, I'm afraid. It has been replaced at the top with Paddington 2, and I'm not joking. It's Paddington 2 is the greatest movie ever made. It's a wonderful, wonderful it's very film. Very good. So good. Really? It's yeah. really oh. good. I think it is quite I've not seen it, sorry. Oh, oh, no. You will love it. You will love it. You will love it. Yeah, Do I need to see the first one in order to no, understand not really. it? I mean, no, I, no, I would. I would. You should, you should watch it because that's also yeah. great. Yes, actually, actually do because okay. there's some emotional catharsis that comes from the first one that will pay off in the second. So do watch <laughs> the first one and they're both amazing. Both I'm not okay. joking. Yeah. The film I, I about you. the bear is yeah, my I, favorite I, movie. I For believe quite, you. For quite a while, it was the only film in history with 100% Rotten Tomatoes rating and then someone, some knob knocked it off. How dare they? 98%. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Gerard Tuhig says, Hey guys, just want to brag that I met Kurt Angle last night. He was doing a show in my town. I couldn't get tickets, although I was still able to catch him. Leaving the venue, managed to nab a picture. Pure childlike joy coursing through me. I assume that's from the Inside the Ropes Ken- tour that he's Ken- doing Ken- at the moment. Kenny's tour, yeah. Bravo to uh, to Kenny. I'm sure there are going to be amazing shows. Kenny always puts together a fantastic evening with. I'm uh, so sorry, Adam. I'm, no, I'm so pleased to see that Kenny's got the tours back. Yeah, I know they went through a period where they were going to have to cancel all of their dates, and they're not like pandemic related. But I'm so so glad they managed to get them. Kenny, uh, he works so bloody hard on them. He's an and amazing interviewer. I think one of the best wrestling so, interviewers I've ever yeah, seen. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I, I saw him do an evening with Goldberg, and it was fantastic it was so so great he's an, he's an incredible lad mm. uh, brian more or less says i wasn't sure who i should root for in this game but i finally made my decision i will be cheering for team wrestle talks defeat by the amazing no rolls barred team oh. hashtag get on board extravagant <laughs> i will say as well like nothing about the show like obviously look there have been cheeky little inside jokes here there have been cheeky little references you know i chose rick flair for a reason but not you know none of it was actually rigged with the players with that being said it was luke owen who in the office today said you know what would be brilliant actually if no rolls barred win you mm-hmm. fucking monster luke owen. <laughs> i'm I'm personally really it's... glad that you left it to the most dramatic point, Luke. The ninth <laughs> question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Left. You should have left it yeah. to two, really. Nine points yeah. away. Is it and you just... sex, eh? You that's reached the, down the and you squished impact. it in your hand. <laughs> I mean, oh, oh, was this a chance of a... Oh, no, 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 stop that. Oh, this... I'm <laughs> sensing a little too much drama in this game. I better win <laughs> right now. <laughs> oh, oh, amazing. Uh, Extravagav says it's been so nice to tune into this live been having a blast so far and has been well needed while self-isolating with COVID rooting for Team WrestleTalk Ryan says thanks for NRB and WrestleTalk Entertainment me and the wife will be going to see Sully and Rosie perform at Brighton Fringe in celebration in celebration with Sully mind performing HBK's theme in Matt Berry's voice (laughs) I think I'm cute I know I'm sexy I've got the looks that drives the girls wide I've got the moves that really move them. Did you just say drive the girls wide? 
Oh, yeah. Yes, he did. I did. I didn't mean to do it. I don't know about wrestling to know that's... I'm just a sexy boy. Sexy boy! I'm not your boy, Ty. Boy, Ty! I'm just a sexy boy. Sexy boy! I'm not your boy, Ty. Boy, Ty! All right, Sully, we're going to have to rewrite the Brighton show. This is going in. That's the intro. That's the start, isn't it? That's the start. Yeah. <laughs> Just down uh, repeat for 60 that minutes. Was absolutely We're done. Stunning. Uh, so, Sully and or John, would you like to plug Grubby Little Mitts properly? I mean, how could you sell it more than Sully just did, I suppose? But if anyone is going to be in Brighton in, uh, in May, uh, what are the days to look for? Uh, the 16th yeah. So I'm, the I'm directing these two absolute charlatans in their new show. And uh, we did a read through the other day and it is genuinely so good. I'm so excited. You can catch us at the Brighton Fringe from Monday the 16th of May to Sunday the 22nd. We're on at what time are we on, Sally? Is it 7.30 or something in the evening? Uh, I believe it's uh, I believe it's 8 p.m. Uh, 8 p.m. Um, yes. It is a small venue, so it's going to be real up close and personal. Uh, I genuinely am really, really excited about this show. So if you are around the Brighton area in the UK, uh, come and see us. Come say hi. We'd love to see you there. Mm. Sullivan told me that, Rosie made a decision partway through your rehearsal that mm, this might be too absurd now. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> one bit. We were about to read a sketch. Uh, on having, I can't tell you the insanity that had already occurred, and Rosie was just... Fair warning, this one's a bit mental. I'm like, oh, this one is compared to the rest of it. <laughs> 45 minutes when Rosie of, says of, that. <laughs> of craziness. Oh, it's brilliant. Oh, it's brilliant. Check yeah, it out, Brighton Fringe. Um, search grubby little mitts, Nichols and Brown. Uh, Gavin Plant says, hey, guys. Uh, it's, it's with Rosie, by the way. Yeah, if we didn't make that clear enough, Rosie from oh, yes. NRB. Yeah, Rosie from NRB. Yes. Uh, Gavin Plant says, hey, guys, loving the board games. Oh, sorry, board games stream. Two questions. Are you all excited for Multiverse of Madness next week? Also, why did you stop the podcast uploads of these? I enjoyed listening to them while doing my Uber run. Go team NRB and JTJ. I believe Luke can answer both those questions. Luke can answer. Uh, on the podcasting, it was a, it was time uh, and resource. We didn't have the editor because uh, I was doing it. So I was doing the podcast edits and I did not have time to do it. And we haven't had an editor resource to take on that. Plus, it's now been like two years and it just feels weird to now start it back up again. So also, yeah, completely, massively my fault. Can, can you imagine listening to this on audio when every sing, almost every single round has been visual? <laughs> there was also a lot of complaints about people saying this show is now too visual for it to be a podcast. But um, I am very much looking forward to it. I'm going to go see it next Thursday morning. I'm going to go watch the first screening of it on Thursday morning. But I may also be going to a press screening of it on Tuesday. Ooh. So maybe. I was, I was emailing my contact today asking if there was a, uh, a multimedia screening of Madness. Ooh. Uh, William Tochi Jr. says, hey, ah, yes, my monthly dose of wrestling crazy just went completely insane with the NRB team in the game. Love this time of the month. Quick question, Adam, when is the next Blood on the Clock Tower game or is that series over? Uh, currently penciled in for May 14th. Yeah. Uh, I don't uh, It may be pushed back if we run out, of, if, if editing time backs up, but I think we're currently on track for May 14th. That is when asked and answered uh matt h says i'm stuck at the airport and saw that you got it, it it's a, it's going to require a bit more editing this one let's say that so there will uh, april will go without seeing a blood on the clock tower game but we'll try to make it up to you in may promise uh matt h says i'm stuck at the airport and saw that you guys were on super excited that i have something to watch you guys rock you rock matt h bin Faller says question for luke never listen to disturbed ever again or never watch the hardcore triple threat match ever again which is it um, uh, yeah, I'll take. Um, well, I mean, yeah, I'll these take. Never having to listen to Disturbed again. They fucking suck. I'll, oh, I'll, I'll, hey. I'll, I'll quite happily, quite happily, never listen to them. Their again. version of Sound of Silence is great. Yeah, that one. This is like when I say that the Miz isn't very good at people. Like he had that one good match in 2016. I was like, yeah, it's fucking eight years yeah. ago. You know, you know that song <laughs> they didn't write. It's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Usually offline says Andy versus Invisible Stan, Quizlemania's first five star match. Jesse Venable saying thank you, Russell Tonk, parts fun bone, and no holes barred for everything. I've gladly enjoyed for the fast last six years. Luke's laugh used to make my daughter laugh as a baby since 2016. Aww. She's almost six now, and Luke is a D A D. How cool. GM mode content's amazing, by the way. 
Thank you very much. Yes, it is. Uh, a, you, a, how do you pronounce this Irish name, please, folks? Uh, or Scottish name, I'm not sure. It's Celtic. A-O-I-F-E. Aoife. Yes. Aoife Cassidy says, hey, I was watching a tag team quiz mania and someone asked who uh, from NXT everyone thought would be champ on the main roster. Five answers were given in quick succession. Of those four, of those four are no longer even in the company. It was a trip to watch. Oh, that's bleak. Uh, Eric Nicholson says, hello, boys. I'm fantasy booking Tom and Daddy Ben running quiz mania. But question for Adam, what version of Monopoly will you be playing on your 10 game live stream? Five fucking games. Thank you. And can Trudy Trotter <laughs> and Brian Children do the play by play? for uh i am toying with the idea of five different monopolies because gotta do something mm. to mm. liven up that stream legit well, underbosses adam fan voted oh, fan voted fan, no no because there's one called the longest <laughs> monopoly ever we're not going up to a fan vote they'll pick that <laughs> who, are you, who are you playing <laughs> monopoly against adam uh oh you're all volunteering for at least one just so you know <laughs> 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 There's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a Guildford version. I'll, I'll... Didn't know you were getting punished version. alongside him, did you? Oh yeah, you're all <laughs> yeah. you're yeah. all getting punished. I'm uh, every an appearance on the channel, every time fucking Monopoly again. <laughs> uh, legit week, underboss. We're playing Monopoly. <laughs> legit, legit underboss is Adam. Who would you rather have, Keith Leon NRB or Quizzle Mania? Also, no matter who wins, the Church of Lovely Friendos win the goal. I would rather have Keith Lee on. I genuinely would rather have him on no Ross, but I want to play a board game with him. Sorry, I know he should be on yes. Quizzle Mania, but I want him on NRB. Oh, yeah, uh, Danny G also, you could, you could spend all day with Keith Lee. That'd be incredible. That'd be lovely. Quite oh, big, it's your dream. Look big. at his face. <laughs> um danny g says hi all just a thought but if he insists on being in the broom cupboard shouldn't tempest be the one with a puppet sidekick rather than sully asked this before and unbelievably ollie didn't know what it meant but who would be in your osw boy stable okay so i, I i'll try and rattle through these but uh x park for sure always been a always been a fan uh the one billy gun not badass billy gun the one billy gun uh scotty too hotty steve blackman and who who's who's my Maybe headliner the to round it out? I don't know if he yeah. qualifies for boy state. <laughs> He's <laughs> one of the greatest <laughs> professional wrestlers of all time. Good. Adam, do you, do you want to explain what a boy's? Oh, uh, absolutely. Uh, it's an OSW reference. OSW are my favorite uh, YouTube channel that make content about wrestling. Uh, present company <laughs> accepted, of course. Um, but no, they're absolutely wonderful people. Uh, and they have a thing called Boys, which is it's someone that you pers it's a wrestler that you personally treasure, but who is objectively shit and has never oh, won a top championship. And so, like, yeah, my boy, like the one Billy Gunn is one of my boys because of his entrance theme with that sax. It's so great. Um, but yes, I, I, will, I will work on, on me on getting an official boy stable. Uh, I'm not sure who my fifth is. Um, I'm not Zach says, are NRB coming to Shucks in Vancouver this year? Please say yes. No, sorry. We're not. Uh, <laughs> I'm, all, I'm I almost be there. Oh, really? There John might be there in might unofficial be there? Official capacity. Yeah, I'm, oh, I'm planning so cool. on being in that neck of the woods for a bunch of stuff. And I might see if I can swing by Shucks and hopefully do a werewolf maybe. So if you're there, <sighs> come say hi. Well, oh, that, that was a so surprising nice. answer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ro Ro Robo Nix, Robonx85 says, thank you for the content you create. No Rolls Bard is my favorite channel with the GM mode. Luke and Pete have been doing it. It's not far behind. Uh, love the Ring of Honor documentary series also. Thank you for all you guys and girls do mark gallagher says hi adam has big day uh has big demo working shows with problematic people such as austin aries and marty skull soured you on him or do you consider it a, ne a necessity for wrestlers to do these shows in the spirit of just getting work also luke i miss actually good uh if you uh denigrated a wrestler for appearing on a card with a problematic wrestler i'm afraid you would have to cancel all wrestlers this is a very bleak industry i'm afraid uh i love big demo personally uh i think he should get the work that he can get that is my stance and if some of that work includes being on board game club then absolutely please that would be nice uh bucephalus tinderia says it's so awesome seeing some of the nrb gang on quizzle mania by the way make sure to keep brian children the hell away from any horses <laughs> <laughs> Sully, uh, oh. for anyone who doesn't get that reference sign up for the nrb patron what else are yeah. you doing with your life sully do you want to explain 
Uh, yeah, Brian Children, who is a commentary character who looks very similar to me. Not is it isn't me. Uh, we'll say, <laughs> uh, but it looks very similar to me. Uh, he um, he accidentally uh, sort of made it canon that he himself does have uh, sexual relations with horses um uh, and, and and that was that was published in in a in a sort of hot mic situation i guess where uh, <laughs> where it was published on the no Ros bar patreon uh yeah um whew, yeah but it's not me so it's fine <laughs> we uh, we published a a blooper reel of Brian Children and Trudy Trotters, where through uh, a series of slip of the tongues, it was revealed that Brian Children fucks horses. <laughs> uh, I have not watched that yet. <laughs> uh, Angela, I'll send you the link. Don't you worry. Um, oh no, you're all, you're one I'm, of the I'm, 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 I'm on Patreon. <laughs> you must stop paying us, Angela. But thank you for. <laughs> Very. Um, good. Legit underboss says Tempest and the resident master person. How excited are you for Ultimo Dragon versus Pentagon at Triple Mania on Saturday? I'll be honest, I have not been keeping up with Triple A. Uh, <laughs> that match sounds sounds pretty fun, though. I'll probably check it out. Uh, Meng says, "I heard the question to name the legit toughest wrestler of all time. It's not exactly me, but thanks for the shout out. Luke has never disagreed with my ultra chat, so I'll keep the gimmick going. It's actually my name, BTW. Love Quizomania. Thanks, you guys. Dylan Prue says, "I had a linear algebra exam today, and I read every question. It's Sullivan's voice. It's the best I've ever done. Also, every time Carl, my roommate, sees Adam on my screen, he asks, "Is that Stone Cold? I don't know why. My roommate Kyle says, "Hi, Sullivan." The Hollywood Hello. Long. It's the Hollywood Blomps. Uh, Jimmy the Gent says, this competition is a nail biter. Love you all so much and know that Sully deserves all the hot dogs. Hey, Tempest, are we friends yet? Who sent this chat in? Sorry, I missed the name. Jimmy, Jimmy the Gent. We are now Jimmy the Gent. All right, very nice. Uh, Brandon <laughs> Abbas says, uh, NRB question, are you going to continue doing Zoom Blood on the Clock Tower along with your in-person game? I just don't want to lose the regular Americans or, you know, Mr. Australia over here. <laughs> Come back to us, John. My girlfriend misses you. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Um, I'm back now. I promise. I'm in. I'm in for the long haul. Heck yeah. Uh, Blood on the Clock Tower, I don't know what the future of Blood on the Clock Tower is. Um, I would say uh, everyone go and watch the video when it comes out on May 14th. That will help make the decision easier. Um, Randall Leesman uh, donated $70. It's incredible. Adam, you are amazing. You never felt like me on my side. Uh, question for all what's everyone's favorite Vince McMahon quote and can you say it in his voice Andy can you uh, Adam sorry can you please say in Randy Savage voice oh yeah Randy's got a text I'm not a very good Randy Savage uh, but what's everyone's favorite Vince McMahon quote and can you say it in his voice starting with John Gracie <laughs> oh, I know the guy yeah uh, well because he's a member of the Kiss My Ass Club his quote would be, well, no job, kids. Yes. What, really? But you all kiss my ass. Why don't you all and, kiss and my ass, ass dearie? Uh, <laughs> Definitely what Vince McMahon sounds like. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. Angela. You're fired. Very oh. good. Sully. Very similar to mine. Yeah. <laughs> I need someone to find my golden egg. <laughs> Very good. Um, Tempest. I don't have the exact quote. But it was sometime in like the late 90s when he said that Steve Austin had made him besieged by epiplexy. <laughs> that just stuck what? with me. Wow. <laughs> that stuck with me. <laughs> uh, Andy. Uh, I really liked it when he said... <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, one. one of his recent works. Uh, and Luke? Uh, I'm torn between two. It is either, I hate Austin, I hate Austin, when he's training <laughs> with Shane. Or my other favourite is from the, the bedpan scene with, damn it, leave. <laughs> damn it, leave. So <laughs> good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. As a scene you remember? With a what happens pan. in the bedpan scene, John? Oh, for fuck's sake, what do I do? <laughs> well, I can, I can tell you that it's two wrestlers who've had a really long... Uh, beef with one another. It's Vince McMahon and uh, 
Steve Austin. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. yeah they go they go way back. Perhaps three, and all, it's all come to this point. It's all come to a head. It's, everything comes down to this. And he's got the bedpan, um, and it's he says, uh, "What was what was the line, Luke?" Obviously, I know it, but damn, just damn, it? damn it, leave. Damn it, leave, because he's. It's all come down to this point, and it's all about him culminating relationship in this moment by getting Steve to leave. <laughs> <laughs> getting Steve <laughs> to leave. <laughs> leave. Steve is he calls him. You st- you started so strong, John. You started so strong. And I guess he also pissed himself. Isn't that what happens with a bedpan? You'd like to catch it. <laughs> imagine, imagine it more like coming in contact with somebody's head. as, But full of urine Someone as well. Head. Yeah. Vince was in hospital. When, right. It, so yeah. he pissed. So, <laughs> so Vince McMahon had urinated into a pan and then flung it at Steve. No, no. Steve <laughs> no. hit him with it. Yeah, on, but... the injured, on the injured leg. <laughs> it didn't seem like it was full of piss, but it could have been. I don't <laughs> think it was. But if you look closely, you can see little flecks of Vince McMahon's urine sailing through the air. I hope not. Yeah. Mm, I've seen it. I, I hate, I it. hate this. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's very so, good. To be fair, Adam, you, you asked for that. You did ask him. Yeah, you mm, did ask for that. That's you it, you that kind is. of did. If you speak to a wrestling everybody. expert like me, you better be prepared for the details. Uh, so apparently I've had a little word with the mod mother. Apparently our audio is going a bit insane and I don't know why. Well, no, Luke, you, you've you've done StreamYard before. What's the best way to try and fix that? Do I just refresh my page? I mean, our audio sounds fine to us. Yeah. yeah. So it's a YouTube yeah. issue. So YouTube are going jinky because, yeah, everything's fine here. Sorry, yeah, gang. Just, that sucks. A yep. problem. Hopefully... Yeah. Hopefully that means it'll be fine for people replaying it. Hopefully. Yes, because this hopefully will be a stored episode. So if you're not yeah. getting the audio, uh, we, yes, we'll finish off the Ultra Chats and then you may just have to watch it on Catcher. But hopefully the audio will uh, fix itself. Once again, blame YouTube. They did this. They did sounds this. Right to me. It sounds yeah, it sounds... Like when, I, when I play it back, it sounds all right. Yeah, I just, um, I just did a little listen as well. It's all fine. Smoothing out now. Uh, oh, th- oh, thanks, Angela. Um, no issue here. Uh, sound is all good for me. I did a refresh. Seems fine. Who knows? YouTube being YouTube, I guess. Uh, Randall says, um, Sally, you've really grown on me as a person on Quizlemania and No Rolls Bard. Question for all Who would you cast for a Batman? And my might is Tobin Bell from Saw as Mr. Freeze. He could be a perfect, tragic Victor Freeze. That's nice. Um, I gotta say, after seeing the Batman, I'm super up for seeing what's his chops do, Joker. Mm-hmm. I thought he was mm-hmm. uh, he looked mm-hmm. he looked good. All right, Keegan. Oh, yeah. I yeah. Had a, I had a really good one for someone to play Scarecrow at one point, but I can't remember who it is. Uh, if you could pick, so this sounds like it's a slightly different question, but if you could pick a Batman villain that hasn't been done yet, I don't know any of those. Oh. Uh, the one that hunts him, I can't remember. Cra- Craven? Craven's good. I, I always associate with Craven's Marvel. Isn't no, no, Craven hunts Spider-Man. Hush. What, is, what is the guy that hunts Batman? Like, he's a he's, he's literally a hunter. Mr. Hunter. There's a really great... No. Oh. I can't remember his name. There is... I, I am 90% sure that I'm not off on this, but I swear there is a character in the Batman verse that is, like, just a really good hunter. He susses out who Batman is. Like, there's an entire... Which one? Stalker? No, I don't think it's Stalker. Alicia oh. Hunt? Let me look it up. Um, question uh, for the room. What mm-hmm. Batman villain would make the best wrestler? He would I'd win. Like... Ben would <laughs> win all the time. I'd like to um, I want to see Ben win. The Paul Bearer role, where he's someone's manager. <laughs> And gets hit with a chair. I used I to want. Oh, so I was gonna say, I used to. I used to want to see Professor Pig. Now I don't know if I want to see that movie. Professor oh, Pig's wow. horrid. Yeah, Professor Pig. I want to see the Condiment King. <laughs> yeah. Are these are these Batman? Have you not heard about the Condiment? Yeah, King Tut. The Condiment. 
Condiment King is a real Batman villain, and he really <laughs> just fires out condiments. <laughs> is is he? <laughs> yeah, he's real. Uh, can I, I can would... I double check that you have not seen you've not seen Professor Pig, John? I don't know what you're talking about. It sounds like oh, a Rosie terrible. Nichols character. It does. It makes me like Arkham Knight less. I know I've what I was Peppa thinking Pig. of. Oh, yes, and it was Hush. It's the uh, it's what? the series oh. of Hush where he sends all the other villains to hunt Batman. So yes, Hush. right. I'd really like to see the Court of Owls done in a movie. Mm -hmm. That'd be fun. I completely and utterly agree. Um, just to give you an idea, um, hang on a second. I'd like to I found the, I, the Harley Quinn. He put uh, Professor Pig. I'm trying to find a picture of Professor Pig, yes. <laughs> Professor Pig. Oh, that's brilliant. Professor <laughs> Pig. I think this would be a good round. Bat Batman villain or wrestler? Because I would, I would yeah. not do well. That was uh, his... Oh, good lord. Uh, oh, Jesus. Horrible. That's Professor Pig. That's awful. Yeah. Do not Rosie care Nichols for that. Play Professor Pig, Do yeah. not care for that. All right. Uh, moving on. NRB memes. Well, that was a very close game for the NRB team. John used only 5% of his true power. And look how much damage he caused to Team WT. <laughs> Post game to everyone you're all amazing and i appreciate all that you do super thanks to host adam charles berg says hey guys it's okay keep your heads up it's important to know that you tried your best ensure your best wasn't good enough just remember that you're not losers i mean yes technically you are losers because you lost but you're still winners in my book thanks charles <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Thanks. brutal uh, benny boy 004 says loving the my gm videos were they all filmed at once or are we getting luke losing it when he has four matches to book um so uh, no, they're filmed. We do like two to three episodes in each block, but the patch update doesn't uh, go into new uh, current saves. You have to create a new save file. So we will have just the smaller match cards and no tag titles until the end of this series. Fair. Um, a uh, Nate S. We have three ultra chats left. Nate S. Says we are all having a great time until Luke Owen decided to go all John Cena and single-handedly squash Team NRB like the Nexus. Maybe NRB <laughs> can reform like the Core. John, you remember that storyline, right? <laughs> For fuck's sake! <laughs> do you want me to do this? Do you want me to do this? <laughs> Summarize the Core storyline in three sentences. A group of wrestlers who are vitally important to one another have a big falling out with another group of wrestlers. Um, sentence one. Sentence two. Uh, after overcoming their differences, they have a big fight together. All those issues are resolved. So I mean, it's probably better than what I can in, in a way. In a way, <laughs> yes. And then uh, Vince also, McMahon was... pissed into a pan and threw it at Steve Austin. Yeah, oh, that is closer to how the core ended. <laughs> pissed into a pan. <laughs> oh, they really pissed those guys into a pan, didn't they? They um, also have what might be the worst t-shirt design of all time. Just their logo in a yeah. diagonal. Oh, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's a bad design. It's not uh, worse than the AJ Styles just shirt. No, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm not finding it. Uh, Brandon Abbas <laughs> says, NR... Oh, this is heartbreaking. Brandon Abbas says, no Rolls Bard would have won the game if John remembered Big Damo was a wrestler. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sullivan, a <laughs> Sullivan, I think he deserves a cheering out from the chief. You're going to need his badge and gun. Love you all. <laughs> Sullivan. Listen, John. Listen, John. I've I've spent 25 years on this force, on this wrestle force, and every damn day I've told you, Big Damo, remember that guy, Northern <laughs> Irish fella. He's big, he's mean, he's very charming. He played ball games with us, and he is definitely a wrestler, John. Oh yes, and look at it, look at this, look at us now, John. Look at us now. Uh. <laughs> Look at us now. Oh, fucking hell. It's midnight. Bad days Stop All right. Virgil <laughs> Modo. Also, uh, PS. 
<laughs> Virgil Nomodo says, Ultra chatting at 6 a.m. leads to not knowing the rules, but I've set aside $56 for the next charity quiz anyway. Thanks, everyone, for everything you do. See you next month. Thank you so much, Virgil Nomodo. And thank you to everyone for being part of No Rolls Barred versus Wrestle Talk, except for Luke. It's been lovely to have you all on the show. Make sure you subscribe to John Gracie. Google Grubby Little Mitts, a show that John is directing. Google Mini Mysteries, a product, an amazing product that John is creating with some pals. Uh, Please subscribe to Hobby Night. Check out Angela's work. She is legit the greatest minis painter I've ever seen. She, uh, Her craft is wonderful and deserves to be seen by so many more people. Sullivan's fine. And make sure you subscribe to Wrestle Talk <laughs> for all of your up-to-the-minute wrestling news. Uh, thank you so much. We will see you next time. We love you. Mwah! Good night, everybody. Bye. Good night. Bye.